rich and you're not famous and you're not this and you're not that. You had an opportunity to be, but you blew it all. And I said, well, oh well, I'm proud of that. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. This one's for all my baby girls. I'll be the guy on level one. I streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy Fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy on level one. Level, level one. Married happily, paycheck to paycheck happily. Meaningful relationship, meaningful life with the family. And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay two big bills next week. I'll be right back. Next week. Getting some hats. Tomorrow, if I stop streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my life. But outside of that, everything else is good in my life. You know what I mean? So I'll be the guy on level one. I have streamed myself masturbating. I'll be the guy Fuck life. I'll be the for the thousands of children. I'll be the guy on level one. You're still on mission one. I'll be the guy. Big up the JDX, the kids, for getting the job. Pray our hands and chat, everybody. Let's get hype. Let's get mega hype. And I got gimmicks today. Look at this. Camera, lights, hats. And it's almost as, as bad quality as BSP's camera. Why? Because I'm a positive person. We got gimmicks, dude. We're celebrating. It's birthday week. Did you forget? Come on, it's the big 40. It's the click, you know. If someone just keeps saying sorry when they do something. It's the Stroke Fighter Turbo. Uh, 40th anniversary. Apologizing isn't just words. It's I will not do this. Actually, this thing can again. be a strobe light. Look at this. Look at this. Um, if you keep doing the thing, you're not. Watch this. We're going to be tweaking out. You have no respect. Hold on. For people that are alive, for fucking people Fuck that are awesome. Okay? You don't give a shit about anybody but, but yourself. yourself. Oh my god, this is gonna give me no a seizure. Like, yeah. Holy shit. Apologizing isn't just words. <laughs> Alright, this you should be okay. No respect. Alright, let's go Would back to the, the empty screen. The loading screen. But that's the way of them saying, we want nothing to do with Phil at all moving forward. Let's make up a bunch of shit or twist a bunch of shit to make him sound bad because everyone hates This actually Christmas lights. I just so put them up. Let's make him look like the villain. So purpose, everyone will believe it. But don't tell and anybody. We'll just be washing it's our illegal to keep up your Christmas lights. Again. And you know what? Look what's happened. Literally, no one bugs them anymore. Nothing. It's all, they're completely washed. The cans Their are hands clean. are clean. No respect. For people that are alive, for fucking people that are dead, you don't give a shit about anybody but yourself. Hello, you Chad. No Welcome. Respect. Hello, Renee. Apologizing isn't just words. Hello, everybody that said what's up. Big ups. Big, again. Big no ups, Omega Kirk. Because I feel bad about it. He watches too much WWE. John stop watching too much WWE. At five, five, six o'clock in the morning. That means it's like two o'clock in the morning there. Bro. So now, when you start reading them, you start looking at it, and it doesn't make any sense why he's even texting. And and it's not even coherent. So you start wondering right, if the this, guy was... Like, now, this is, uh, is going to get turned down, as I have some shit to talk about, right? Right? Hold on. All right. Let me just get this shit on screen. They have many announcements, right? Announcement number one. KO Gaming 1. First, we're having a special... This is distracting me way too much. We're having a special anniversary thon for, for Phil on his special day. We're gonna be watching his special stream and we're gonna be doing some special stuff by ourselves. We're gonna do the equivalent of the Santa racing that we did for Christmas. Uh, members are currently picking a special activity that only they can decide what it's gonna be. Uh, Restream, of course. Uh, we're gonna make a photoshop for, for phil it's gonna be super fun and we're gonna make him a birthday card interactively that everybody can sign up and uh, put in a picture or whatever you want to do then on the second channel i have a new video talking about gacha games that's just like a generic listening to stuff type of thing all right and on twitch i'm gonna do series of streams 
talking about some other people that interest me throughout the years, like Chain Dawson, like Nostalgia Critic, like uh, Wings, Chris Chan, shit like that. And I'm gonna do my gaming there. Now, if you don't give a shit about any of this, then don't. That's cool, but if you do, smash the follow button on the Twitch link. And that's gonna be it. Uh, first of all, massive shout out to Dominic for the $50 contribution before the stream even started. Uh, I'm gonna give him his. Uh, what? I love it. Where's the alert? Oh, I love it. Hold on, this should have been on top. There it is. Uh, and uh, his message says, Hey bro, I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch the stream today. Just wanted to give you a shout out and say how much we appreciate the content. Big ups on uh, all your hard work. Big ups, thank you. Now finally I can give like prayer hands, tea poses, and uh, big ups Dominic, thank you very much. Alright, I think this for the announcements. Uh, let's see this <laughs> this funny video, this uh, this thing from, from Raven the Dolphin. This short. Uh, listen to this. What's sadder? A 40 year old man that had to buy balloons that say 40 in the background and then blow a little party whistle. Happy 40, you bitch. Oh. <laughs> Happy 40, you bitch. Man, today there's so much shit to talk about. Uh, first, I want to go on Twitter because the, the piggy tried to be viral again. You heard this right. He tried to be viral again by replying to his fucking viral tweet and saying, man, surely that can't happen again, which was hilarious. Let's go check it out. Uh, they call me the guy. ESP gaming? I completely fucking forgot everything. All right. Uh, so yeah, like I said, dude tried to go viral again. Again. Let's skip this trash. Actually, he begged, by the way. He, he begged here. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna get to this. What's going on with the lights? They're Christmas lights, come on. They're on my shelf. It's dynamic lighting system. Come on, I thought it would be cool and gimmicky because we, we're celebrating. And I have a variety of hats behind me that I can change at any time. I can show you that I cut my hair and I al almost have no hair right now. And that's it. Um, well, let's go back to Twitter. And for me to fix my chat on the, on the screen. Eventually, maybe my laptop is going to give up and I need to turn off the cam, but it's it's life. It always happens. All right. Let's do the Twitter thing now, though. Uh, <laughs> you're, it, it was... What? I had this two days ago? What is this? Oh, my God. Look at this guy. Look at the shit he replies to. Somebody... Of course, this is his viral tweet. What does he have? 86k likes. Wow. Uh, he, he got a, a bunch more likes than the Oscars. Anyways, and now some dude made this meme, right? And then DSP is like, damn, I wish I had this two days ago. You fucking lame dude. <laughs> and in the first comment, the first dude, what he says is, you could have just made it yourself, you lazy sack of shit. <laughs> Phenomenal. This is fucking great. And what is this? There's a is this you, which I fucking love. I I love the this you um segments. Can you even see this? I think you can. Okay. Oh, you, you'll get it now because it sounds like it's one service. You you think this is the Sony? Oh, this is some other shit. This with a uh, Sony bullshit. We're gonna talk about this later too. But wait, let me find when. Ah, there it is. There it is. He was he was trying to triple dip or quadruple dip, multiple dip, many dips, infinite amounts of dips. It's the Big Dipper, uh, right? This is his viral tweet. This is the definition of condoning the violence, whatever. Then, uh, DSP replies, quote, retweets his own tweet. For no reason, out of nowhere. Nobody cares. This is like everybody fucking forgot about Will Smith at this point. Everybody apologized and it's in the past. A common sense tweet from a nobody like me. Having this much attention and actually ratioing the Oscars makes no sense. But this is the world we live in. Even I agree, this is crazy nonsense. It can't possibly happen again. Hmm. It can't possibly happen again, dude. Uh, which is his pretty pathetic way of, of trying to do it again? Like, it's so bizarre, man. Why would you? That's fucking cringe. Anyways, 
Uh, I can't be quiet for too long because <laughs> this is gonna get claimed because it's uh, MF Doom. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go back up where we beg. Yes, we beg here in this tweet. Thursday is the chill pre-stream podcast and the return of Elden Ring. Only one stream since only one stream and this is all caps like MF Doom. One stream since I have to work on my taxes for the rest of the day. So I'd appreciate it if you could support it as much as possible and let's have a great time. This is fucking cringe. This is fucking cringe. So he begged in this and I think we're done with with Twitter because Twitter usually not interesting in, in any capacity. Uh, I guess uh, let's just go and, and start it with the Bingeton. Uh Wait, I think I have them already in the in the watch later playlist. The Bingeathon. And when when something cringe happens, I'm gonna turn on the the strobe lights and and get a seizure. What the fuck is happening? It is the next big thing, uh, current year. Okay, I guess we're gonna start from here. I watched some of them. They were just so fucking bad, man. They were just so fucking bad. And there's just three clips from yesterday, so let's just go and watch this. This is a terrible story. It fucking... It's so boring. And I don't even know why he's telling it, but he's telling it, so let's just... Let's just dive in. Let's dive in. Uh, members dropped again. Well, eight years till they He's were at 350 now. What the fuck? 350 he was he almost hit 400 last time do we have the huh yeah we do huh 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 how does that make any sense how is he 345 now holy fuck it's it's like a, on a day-by-day -day thing he almost hit 400 for the last uh, for the last goal grab her shoes you know all worn out she works retail when you work retail you're on your feet just turn all day the long beats. and your shoes tend to wear out really quickly so she, her, her current pair of shoes that she had were all worn out. Like, I absolutely need a new pair of shoes for work. We oh, got yeah, it. and he's going to drop views. Uh, I mean, members tomorrow. He's going to drop a bunch of them tomorrow. So that's going to be a thing. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I get one. So we went to a shoe <laughs> store. Okay. Is this how it's going to be until the gifted memberships come? And mm -hmm. we go into the shoe store and there's only two customers. Us and a, a family. This is a terrible story, by the way. It goes... Almost no way. Now this family comprised of two younger kids. I'd probably say they were between maybe five to eight years old, a boy and a girl. Two just fucking the shitty meandering explanations of everything. A little bit older kids, probably in their young teens, boy and a girl, their mother, and their grandfather. Okay? Now, not to say that we're eavesdropping or whatever, but this is a very loud, rambunctious family. <laughs> the kids are bouncing all over the store, looking at shoes, grabbing shoes, looking at socks, you know, basically picking out exactly what it is that they want. It was just like a, a I, I, I don't even know what to say to this story because I watched it. Okay, we're going to go through it. Let's and... just go through it first and then I'm going to talk shit. But it's like, I, I'm so confused what to say. Basically, he's like. He's saying I'm not it's not like I was eavesdropping or something, but the story is 12 minutes long. What? There you explain this for 12 minutes and then you're like, well, I, it's not like I was actually like being creepy and, and like looking at him, but it, it would be loud. Talk Does that mean that we're OK for for following DSP because he's being loud and obnoxious and begging for money? Being so loud, you can absolutely hear everything they're saying about the situation. And what you surmise is that I guess their grandfather do isn't from Washington State, but okay. he's visiting. And the whole point of this, this visit that, that, was to, that's to the spend thing. time. That's what I think happened. That's what I think happened. Uh, you can tell he enjoyed seeing someone not get what they want. This is what, what my impression of this video is. Because he was like, sort of, kind of smug with this like... I don't even know how to say it. Let's just get through it, okay? I'm, with them. I'm not gonna stall oh, anymore. But he wanted to basically like splurge and 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 do nice things for them wanted because apparently splurge. he has money for himself and nothing to spend it on. So <laughs> the basically, the, the purpose of the trip was he's paying. Oh yeah, for like like pay pigs. Are pay pigs splurging? Everything. And so they're talking to him. Thank you so much, Grandpa. So I can get whatever I want. Oh, no, yes, we get haikus. You know. This is not that kind of a stream. We're not supposed to get haikus here. Big ups, invalid beg activity for the super chat. An actual haiku. 
uh, a gated community, the peace of a summer morning, disrupted by an angry snort. Rip. Huh? Huh? That, that's that's catch. She just wakes up and she's like, huh? Uh, big ups. Uh, I'm not valid yeah, activity. Is... I'm not kidding. Yes, you could get whatever you want in the store, it's whatever shirt, pair of shoes you want. Everyone gets one pair of snoo shoes or sneakers or whatever, and you grab socks or grab what other accessories you want or whatever. Okay. So as Cat is looking around his shoes, I'm just you know sitting there on one of the 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 what do they call it the benches, just waiting you know, and I'm I'm holding her stuff so that way she doesn't have to worry about it while she goes in the shoe shops, and you know I'm, I'm minding my own business, and I'm I'm on my phone or whatever just dicking around. And you How just are you minding I mean, your own business when you're explaining somebody else's fucking story? And it's a sad story, too. All over the street, yelling for, for 12 minutes. I'm just minding my own business, man. But listen to this for 12 minutes. Screaming these kids at this. It's like I, I would say I'm minding my own business and then having hundreds of hours of DSP streams. How am I minding my own business then? Shoes and everything. You can oh, tell I'm they're super excited. Business. Maybe this is a family that normally doesn't. And he sets it up. He sets it up in a way that it's like, then when you hear the payoff, it's sad as fuck. Man, they were so excited. Uh, big ups, uh, Omega Kirk for a super chat. Grandpa baller alert. Yeah, that grandpa was balling. Then later on, you're probably going to cure his budget. Because DSP, of course, he heard his budget. Ball, ball, baller alert. And uh, big ups, Dark C. Phil for the super chat. If, if only grandpa knew how to beg on stream. But he didn't even know how to use his card, man. But at least he had money in it. Just get stuff, you know. Who knows? Sometimes you got. I'm not part of their freaking family, nor do I care. But it's crazy. I can't keep my my myself out of their situation because they're so loud. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's talk about the the decorations first. I completely took it for granted. And people that are super invested in this story are probably gonna be pissed because I'm meandering as fuck. But but look at these decorations. It's a four and a zero. In, in this weird fucking bullshit on his right, on his left side. I don't even know what that is. But it's disgusting, it's lazy, and it sucks. And he used the, the same balloons as last time. Amazing. So finally, after about, you know, a while shopping, Kat found a pair of shoes that she had liked. She's like, okay, we're going to check out. We go up to check. Apparently, Kat shops longer than an entire family. Or just as long as an entire family. Yeah, well, the family is ahead of us, okay? okay? Now, this family, again, each kid was getting a pair of shoes, four pairs of shoes and a bunch of accessories for each shoe. And by the way, this wasn't a discount shoe store. It's like a regular shoe store. You can imagine how much, you know, these shoes probably freaking cost. Okay. Why do I look dead again? I thought oh, yeah, that this I... Oh, uh, his filter went away. This is his raw camera. And now you're going to see when he puts the, the color correction filter on. This is raw camera. Look at him. Pale as fuck. The palest man alive. The camera. Hold on a second here. Epic filter. I swear time. I put the camera on white balance. Put the camera on white balance. What does that mean? You put a filter on. Put the camera. Oh, you see now it's a little bit more colorful. Say. It has skin tone on it. But before that, it was just pale. It's like a ghoul. Like legit one of those ghouls from, uh, from Fallout. I Ghost put it so that face. shouldn't undo it. Ghost face beggar. That's the new guy from Wu Tang. Ghost face beggar. And then it undid it anyway. Hey, by the way, I, uh, I forgot to say this in the announcement section of the stream, but big ups to everybody who showed up last time for the late stream. Because I saw a, a ton of new names, probably because of um, time zones or whatever, but you guys showed up and that was awesome. And it was a very fun Ask the King vintage edition. <laughs> All I'm right. constantly fighting with technology. It's like of I'm wrestling a are. giant. But now you're gonna hold on. Now anyway. you're gonna shit on the grandpa who actually has a lot of money. He just couldn't use it. So they're checking out, and I, you know, I'm thinking in my head, "Geez, this must be like I'm not exaggerating. Probably like a five hundred, six hundred dollar purchase because each okay. kid's buying expensive sneakers." And He's doing the same shit the trolls are doing. Why are you looking at this guy's wallet? Come on, you shit on the trolls all the time, and now you're looking at the fucking dude wallet. Oh my god, man, they were buying so much. And you know what the funniest thing is? They couldn't even pay for it. These fucking idiots. Your shoes, they're probably like anywhere from 50 This is like a weird, like, jealousy-fueled story. Because you know he, he loved saying this because it doesn't have a happy ending. If they paid for everything and left in the end, that wouldn't be a story. That wouldn't be a story. 100 bucks. 
plus socks, plus other thing, you know, little knickknacks and shit that you buy at a shoe store to go with it. And they're all checking out a giant pile of merchandise. They're all plopping it down, scan it, scan it, scan it. Luckily for us, what appeared to be either a higher up employee or a store manager walked over to check us out because so that way we didn't have to wait for them to check out because they were going to probably take like an hour. All right. Sure. So Cal starts checking out. And then next to us, they get, all right, here's your total. Uh, you know, who's paying? And Grandpa steps up. Uh, and he's yeah, got his card. Look, look at this a little bit smug, man. Look at this. Why? Why is this your attitude? For somebody else's misery. That's all that it is. I need to tilt this a little bit. Yeah. It, it's for somebody else's fucking misery. Because they failed and they couldn't pay and they couldn't buy shoes. That's the whole story. And he puts his card in. And this guy's going to explain it to you in this smug way. And in the end say, man, I felt so sad about him. What a fucking asshole. All right. This is the type of shit the trolls say, right? This is what I say when I'm here and I'm like, man, DSP, he did this fucking, he, uh, he uh, why do I, what, what story would I tell? He was making this fundraiser, right? And then nobody showed up and he was begging all the time. Man, it was so sad. That's the shit that the trolls do. All right, and they go, okay, and decline. Okay. Oh. At least I'm just straight up with it and I'm like, I don't want this dude to be fucking successful because he doesn't fucking deserve it. I'm going to make fun of him because he's hilarious. But no, he's in this weird like, man, it was a sad story, but it's such an interesting story. I want to tell oh. you. No, you just want to wallow in somebody else who didn't get what they wanted. After you not getting what you wanted your entire life, basically, since we're on still on mission one. Grandpa, did you do it again, Grandpa? Did you put your card in wrong, Grandpa? Come on, let's figure this out. So the mother walks over. Hey, big ups, uh, the card, they put it, Is this gamer? how you do it? You put it in first. This is how you do it. This way, Chip... And now he's going to make fun of this. Is it Chip back? Yeah, DSP is just some random grandpa. You can't fucking use OBS, and that's your job. Should we make fun of you for that? Yes, and we do, and we should. Or Chip for... Like, the guy doesn't even know how to use his card, okay? Like, he has no clue. This guy doesn't know how to use a stream deck. This guy doesn't know how to use OBS, and it's his fucking job. But let's make fun of some random grandpa that didn't know how to use his card. That was full of money, by the way. How to use his card? He's just so confused by modern technology. DSP knows how to use his card. Too bad there's never anything in it. Technology. He doesn't understand how a card reader works. Now keep in mind, you don't even Shout have to use to the DSP's chip. DSP's card. Which one, though? Which one? He got like 15 credit cards. DSP, think about it. Think about it before you tell a story like this. Because now we flip it on you, and you're like, yeah, DSP, he couldn't use his one card. You had 15 cards. And he actually had money on the card, unlike you. Who don't? He could have just swiped if he wanted, but he didn't even understand that. So again, he puts it in. All right. Decline. Oh. Hell. Huh? This doesn't make sense. Huh? So now the grandpa starts to get agitated. He's like, oh, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> grandpa put his, his card was declined, and then he pulled a weird, like, huh? Huh? That's the grandpa. Huh? How does that make any sense? I'm here on vacation. I filled my account with money. Now, I don't... I, it wasn't clear if this is a credit card or debit card, but he's like, he's under the... It wasn't clear. I... <laughs> it wasn't clear. It wasn't clear. What do you mean? You didn't see. That's what it wasn't clear. You didn't see. Uh, big up synonymous for the dollar. Uh, on a mild spring day, the mom wife needs new horseshoes. <laughs> Grandpa Dave will pay. E Edgar Allan Poe, 1824. <laughs> man, I knew Ed Edgar Allan Poe was uh, was writing about sad stuff, but man, wait, this is way too sad. Impression. He even says it out loud. Oh. $80,000. Oh, and look at the little smug smile. The, the grandpa with 80k couldn't buy a thing. So this is a story now. This is a story. But this guy, this guy who is half a mil in debt on credit cards and bullshit and mobile games, he is telling the story and making these little smirks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are you smirking? I thought it was a sad story. It's a family that didn't get what they want. Just like you, when you have to beg for tips, or else you wouldn't get what you want. So... Is this supposed to be a sad story, not a funny story? Okay. He says he has $80,000 okay. that apparently he has in his account prepared uh, for this trip. Okay. Uh, he even says out loud, No, I went to Walmart yesterday and the card worked, so it has to work. So now, he's fighting. Now they're swiping. They're inserting, at, literally after trying five times, the mother interjects and says, all right, I'd like to ask you, the employee, how do you use a credit card? 
The mother asked the employee, how do you use okay. the credit card? So what? So what? What? <laughs> Maybe they had a weird type of terminal thing where you need to put your card. It's like, what, what's wrong with it? Okay. Just because you have 15 credit cards doesn't mean that everybody else got 15 credit cards and they use them all the time. What if they pay in cash, you asshole? Look at this fucking face. And this is the face of somebody who went through bankruptcy. And it's it, he's talking about people not getting their way and can't not being able to pay. When he's the guy who's supposed to understand. He's the guy who's supposed to understand and be like, man, this shit sucks. They couldn't get what they want. And this story should have been a minute long. Hey, you know what? Today I saw somebody in the store was really fucked up because they couldn't get what they wanted because their card didn't work. That's it. That's the story. No. By the way, this is in front of the, the whole story. family. The kids are standing right there. Okay. And you can... You embarrass yourself in front of your whole family every day. Every day. And your wife... What if somebody asks your wife, what does your husband do for a living? What are you going to say? You can't even say his name because they're going to look him up. Oh, yeah, he's a streamer. Oh, what's his name? DSP? DSP Gaming? Wow. Oh, DSP Gaming. Oh, the, the people also ask, how much money does Darkseid Phil make? Wow. That's pretty interesting. And then we scroll, we scroll, and then we got YouTube fandom. Wow. Let me click. What is this? Oh, okay. He's best known for his incident. Controversial masturbation incident. Wow, that's very interesting. My, and, and then we get all the channels because of course. And then, and this is one of the mo more positive ones. But you, you get my point. The dude can't even tell somebody what he does online. He legit can't. He's shitting on people in front of their whole family that the credit card didn't work. But guess what? Guess what? Those people can make a phone call to the bank and fix the problem and buy all the shoes they want. This dude, actually, this dude, this this side, this side, this dude has to beg for tips every day, every day. And he has to beg in tweets and he has to beg in community posts and he has to beg in fucking, oops, in, in anything, anything that exists. See yes, this is Anthony Fantano. This, uh, the new dark side fill record, it's not good. Their level of excitement that was so high, like extremely high levels of excitement that they were getting free stuff, go from ha huh, to ha huh, to You see, uh, this is funny. This is funny to him. People not getting what they want. To uh, And having just a misfortune. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And, and he can do this. Very much realize. But his dumb bitch wife, she got her stupid ass fucking shoes. You dumb bitch. It didn't look like they were going to be getting anything. Um, <laughs> so we're still we're still checking out. And you can hear the Hilarity. whole conversation of this family. The mother's basically like, well, I don't have the money for all of this. So what are we supposed to do? Wait a minute, Grandpa, you're taking us out to dinner tonight. Now, what uh -oh. happens if your card gets declined at the restaurant? What are we supposed to do, Grandpa? And the grandfather is like... I swear I have the money in this account. I don't know. I, this is ridiculous. And he's freaking out. Bro, this is like, why, why are you looking at chat, scumbag? What do you expect them to say? LOL? For a fucking family that went on vacation that can't spend any money? You fucking asshole. But when you go on vacation, when, remember when he went on vacation and he got sick? And he was tweeting in the middle of the night about people playing State of Decay 2. And calling him fucking shills and then getting called out and apologizing when he went on vacation and something went bad when he wanna, went on vacation got sick when he want, went on vacation didn't have money he was tweeting at people on the internet and now he's talking about this fucking family that couldn't even buy shoes and don't know if they can even go to a restaurant and i'm just like rubbing my head like this and a few things pop into my mind about this what does pop All into right? your mind the first thing i'm thinking he thought of a solution, right? And he didn't, uh, he didn't tell him. First thing I'm thinking is when I go on vacation, the bank might not let me use my credit card because they might think it's stolen. But he didn't tell anybody. Is Number one, I bet what really is happening here, it just happens to this. sometimes with credit cards and or even debit cards, I've seen this happen, is that if you go on a vacation and you, let's say you live in Florida, 
Okay. All right, uh, this is I'm going to skip through this because I just told you what it is. When you go on vacation, sometimes they're going to freeze your card. So it might look like it's stolen or something, right? OK, the bank will start declining your stuff. This is this is what they're saying. Because but he ex he is explaining it for like two minutes. Your own good. OK, <clears throat> so now what actually happens is most people, if they're going to go on a trip, they ahead of time will call their card company or their credit card company whoever they're planning on using as their main form of payment during their trip to oh and uh, people in chat are, are defending the family we huh? authorize <laughs> of course they will of course they will and this dude is like sitting there being like oh my god they couldn't get anything how hilarious is this this whole family possibly was on vacation and couldn't pay for shit. this is hilarious all of these transactions so nothing like this and he thought of a of a potential issue like the potential cause right he thought of it didn't tell anybody didn't tell anybody they were probably just sitting there confused maybe they never even figured it out happens. even though they probably did it's it's a thing that you just fucking call the bank and you're like bro i'm on vacation turn on my card come on okay i'm being a troll this guy i mean just, just put this in this perspe perspective this guy doesn't know how to insert a credit this card the, into the a credit hats card for later Okay. So did you, you tell him though? Why didn't you go out of your way to help him? If you're gonna go out of your way to talk shit about him, why didn't you go out of your way to help him? Think he knows what a about any scumbag. of this, or do you think that he has a smartphone with him where he could actively get messages from a bank telling them that they were declining his stuff? So anyway, long story short, we leave. We we had already checked out. Look at we this. We leave. Pay attention to this. We go out. Actually, it's I great. take it back. One final thing happened. The the using some brain capacity which is very smart the the person who's working there said well maybe what we can do is we can try to incrementally lower the amount of the transaction instead of trying to put through the whole transaction let's try to put through half and see bro it. how long how long was this motherfucker checking uh, checking out for what if that goes and then maybe even smaller maybe your bank will approve smaller amounts so they were trying everything they could to make this guy and his family happy you know they weren't being jerks about it they yeah. obviously wanted the business. Uh, unlike trying. you, who just who did nothing, you saw all of this, did nothing, said nothing, and now you're explaining it to your stupid ass chat, expecting them to laugh, and instead they're laughing at you. And brainstorm and think of, of that's ways what to happened. Go through, okay. So they were trying absolutely everything, and then we walk out to the car, we put our stuff, we get in the car, we start the car, we're about to leave. And we were pulling out of, and as we're pulling out of the lot, we see the whole family walking out of the store, their shoulders down there like this. Yeah, did you walk out like this from the bankruptcy call? This fucking scumbag, and, and he's gonna go through the whole thing. He's gonna go through the whole song and dance to show you how miserable that family was. As his family was happy, because his wife got new horseshoes. With their heads bowed down like this. What a disgusting scumbag. The Do they stand in front of a camera with a fucking 40 balloon behind them? Do they do that? No merchandise at all. Oh, they had no merchandise at all. I was like, wow. wow that is. And he's just enjoying this. He's reveling in this. Fucking sad and depressing. And oh, oh yeah, now he, he has to tell you that this is the disclaimer. By the way, you guys, by the way, you guys, this is sad and depressing. Completely preventable. Like, oh, but I, it was preventable. Uh, was your bankruptcy preventable? Did you straight up just get 14 credit cards? Was this preventable, getting 14 credit cards? Was WWE Champions preventable? This fucking hypocrite. I can call him about 10 things like this. I would hope. Was your getting banned from Twitch preventable? If you don't, uh, if you kept your mouth shut. That the situation was that the guy really did have money and it was just a simple misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a simple, oh, the bank froze his account because they thought it was fraud or something. As opposed to the okay. guy thought he had money and really doesn't. And he told his whole family, I'm coming to visit you for a holiday and I'm going to pay for everything. And he has no money, you know, but who knows what happened? But now he made up a bunch of stuff. He made up a bunch of stuff. But I was like, damn, <laughs> that we actually like, that damn. made us feel really sad. Really? It's about you. About you being sad. Are you both like actual sociopaths? You and your dumbass fucking ugly ass wife. They're both like actual sociopaths. Man, this made me sad. Why? She got her fucking horseshoes. Like, Dan, that's that's messed up and that's really Man, sad. Man, that's messed like up. That happened to, to a family. 
Uh, and hopefully, hopefully what I would- Yes, now that you bring it up, isn't this the guy who went on a secret vacation to get married on his parents' fucking dollar? They paid for everything. They paid for everything. And this guy is telling you this story. And he was like 38 when he went to get married secretly. And his parents paid for it. It's hilarious. The hope is they immediately went to like home and the guy called his bank and got the issue resolved. And then they went out and had a really nice dinner that night because that's what they were supposed to do. Rip. I hope. I hope they didn't end up getting did. like a McDonald's cheeseburger dinner because that's all they could afford. Oh, right, that's yeah. Really messed up. <laughs> I, I I can't stand this guy, man. He's like the, the terrible fucking person. And if he wasn't this bad at being a person, he would actually have way more power to be a terrible person. But thank God he is this bad at being an actual human being that he is in this state that he is. Because if he was doing better, he would be much fucking worse. So anyway, um... Yeah, anyway, the 12 minute fucking story. That was nothing. That was somebody else's misery. Oh, and now we're gonna rant. We're gonna rant. About what? About Ghostwire? Yep. Ghostwire Tokyo. 20 minutes. Let's get Born it clapping. Half of my audience is like, wow, this game. Let's see uh, what half your audience is about. I don't want to hear about his fucking audience. I want to see it myself. DSP Gaming. This is where we look. At this dead ass channel. <laughs> what, wait, what is this? Oh, he replaced the the highlighted video. Now, now Ghostwire Tokyo is the hottest thing. Fantastic. Uh, what is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! What is up with this Kirby? Get a load of this. Three hundred views. Two hundred views. Four hundred views. Yo, Ghostwire is dying as well. Yo! Yo! Buddy, this story that you just said, it, it's it, it's not as sad as this. That story about the family is not as sad as this. Because this, this 300 views, and this 400 views, which this is very confusing. Wait, what, what the fuck is happening here? Hold on. 800... Uh, episode 80, right? Episode 81 is here. 400 views on 80 and 1,000 on 81. What's going on here? What happened? What happened? Nothing. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Uh, anyways, this is way sadder than that story for, for the family. Because this is 14 years in the making. He worked for 14 years for this. For nothing. For an hour and a half that he spent playing games that is going to get 400 views. And of course, he's okay with this because because how is the tips goal? Of course, uh, 101, 152. So he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. But eventually he will. Like with everything else, eventually he will start to care, but it's going to be too late. So... Good job, DSP. Tell me about somebody else's fucking story. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. As you can't even hit a thousand fucking Amazing. views. From 14 years of working. 14 years of the grind. Can't hit a thousand views. We are done. We are finished. Finished and washed up. Actually innovative and different and original. It takes the idea of an open world exploratory game, but it adds supernatural elements and horror, but it also adds in interesting gameplay elements. I, you know, it's, it's unique. Us, uh, Dominic for the $5 super chat. The silent majority is so silent. They don't even watch his content anymore. They, they, they're doing their role, man. They're doing what they're best at, being silent, and they're doing it extremely well. They attempted to do something very different and the game is refreshing and fun and thank uh, you. What do I think about his member's hype goal? I think it is probably a podcast of some kind, potentially with Wings, because Wings revealed his DMs on, I don't know, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, and he was texting DSP. So everything is possible. I don't know. I don't know. I legit don't. You feel for playing this game because you had only been playing Elden Ring pretty much for almost a month. Oh, yeah. We People were like, thank you, Phil. Finally got that broken up by something different, <laughs> and we appreciate that very much. Okay? 
And then there's the other half. And the other half is like... Yeah, Wings was messaging DSP. Let me find it from uh, my Discord. Wow, this game is not is exciting like Elden Ring. This game is boring because it's not Elden Ring. Wow, it would only Phil would be playing more Elden This is, by the way, a great misrepresentation of, of the narrative. Elden but Ring. I guess this is in his hand. Elden Ring, Elden, Elden Ring, Ring, Elden, 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 fucking mother Ring. cock, son of a bitch. Mother Ring. cock? And I get it. Elden Ring is a good game, and you guys want to see me play more of Elden... Oh, that's the wrong thing. You want to see me play more of Elden Ring? I totally get it. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing else on this planet but Elden Ring. It doesn't mean that I ignore everything else Hold going on, on in gaming outside of Elden Ring, okay? And but enjoy the, the Elden Ring discussion. You, I'm, I'm a Elden big Elden fan. Ring every single day is the mainstream. It, I get burnt out on it. There's some days I, I was feeling like exhausted after playing it so long, you know? Um, <clears throat> I definitely feel like oh, do, doing variety was the right thing. You guys just, asked me uh, overwhelmingly to, to stop playing screen. Elden Ring every day and do some variety, okay? So I am. But it is disheartening, and here's why. When I'm playing Ghostwire Tokyo, which I feel is, is a really good game, it's getting guys. better the more I play it, okay? And there's definitely an audience for it because so, a lot of people are telling me we're happy you're playing it. It's different. Basically, what's happening is I start playing the game, and immediately viewership drops after the pre-stream podcast yep. ends, and then it goes down like 200 views. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Uh, shut up, DSP. There it is. As as we can see here, and I'm going to try and... Uh... Try and, and mega enhance this for you the way that I do best. Now he's texting a bunch of people. Doesn't this doesn't matter? Uh, but here, he is texting Phil. This is uh, this is Wings, by the way. I'm gonna give you a shout out in a second, guy. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I could help you with the something. And this is what what does it say here? Like six hours ago. So they are keeping in touch behind the scenes on on the Twitter, on the Twitter. So that's it. And the reveal might be something related to wings, even though DSP. Uh, yeah, this uh, this Twitter DMs, uh, as you can see, and there's some other people here, but I don't I don't care about them. And yeah, it, it could be something with wings. Uh, however, I have no idea why he would do that because then the wings trolls are gonna come to DSP. He might wanna have it this for some reason, but no, legit don't. But yeah, it might be just a Pity Party Podcast, which is a great name for a podcast. It has like alliteration in it. The Pity Party Podcast. Awesome. Gained a 200 view. Uh, oh yeah, uh, big ups for Super Chat. Invalid bag activity. Too long, didn't read. I like this game, so you have to like it too. I'm not even sure if he likes the game. It's just like he doesn't get money for it. So of course he's going to say, man, I'm sitting here loving the game. For stream on a main stream and people are telling me it's not you it's the game uh, i think that message was uh subscribe, was actually sent emotes and shit. Subscribe, subscribe. by dsp i don't think it was received by dsp but I, i'm not sure actually yeah i think the message was sent from wings that's that's what i meant to say so wings send that message i wish i could help with whatever so yeah because dsp never wishes he could help anything but himself so it kind of makes sense uh, and uh, big ups, uh, Roberto Aguilera for the sub. Yeah, sure. What about the game? Huh? Visually, it's stunning. It looks much different from Amazing. other games. Amazing. First of all, the graphics are great. The gameplay mechanics are different. They're more refreshing than, to say, just a first-person shooter or an open-world first-person RPG. They're very different, in fact. The story, completely unique. A supernatural completely element. Unique to the game and all these side stories ghost that have whisper. little things about demons and ghosts and things come on ghosts are in ghost whisper it's not unique I, can you please <laughs> I, hate this, I hate this i hate this outside of the fact can you please explain to me they don't have a unanimous voice the random fucking assholes in his chat don't have a unanimous voice so he so they can explain to him why he's fucking boring that can't physically happen yeah there's one thing, one thing, one thing <laughs> that I feel the game maybe could be a little bit repetitive. The exploration aspect. You're in an open okay. world and there's shit all over of you. Course. Guys. When he plays open world games, it's, it's a fucking tragedy. It's a tragedy. He shouldn't be allowed to play open world games. They need to make this uh, an actual law. Whether it's you're saving the souls of the people that are floating, whether you're collecting items, you know, to feed the dogs or feed the cats or you know, talk to the shrine, now you upgraded your ability or whatever it may be. 
there's definitely the. I think he's peddling Ghostwire because he's playing it, not because it's foreign or it's new or anything. It's because he's playing it. He's gonna peddle anything. Whole collectathon feeling collect when it comes to the game, and that I understand right. is maybe the one element out of all the things in this game that people could say that's kind of repetitive and been done to death. But outside of that, the game combines so many different interesting and unique elements. What exactly is it about this game that you don't like? And the funny part about it is uh, no boring. one can answer my question. No one can answer because they, they they're not a voice of anybody. They're their own voice. It's like that, that, that that's the shit. Like if, if somebody gets me on their podcast to talk about DSP and I'm supposed to represent all the trolls. So everything that I say is representative of all the trolls unanimous opinion. So if I say, yeah, I just watched DSP as a fucked up reality show that I just laugh at and it's funny to me. And then some dude on Kiwi Farms that wants DSP to actually die is going to send me a DM saying, dude, I, I, I don't think this. I don't agree with this. Yeah, it's not a fucking unanimous voice because there's like 300 people in his chat. You say things like incoherent octopus just say, well, it's not interesting. Yeah, okay. It's not interesting to incoherent octopus in DSP's chat. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I literally just described five interesting things. Okay, maybe they're not interesting to him. But you don't find the game interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? What? <laughs> what is this guy even trying to say? Okay, now I gotta ask you this question. Okay. Why is Elden Ring interesting? Um... It's something completely different. Like, what? Why is Elden Ring interesting? The combat is fun. Enemy variety. The big world. A variety of builds you can have. What else? Uh, why is it interesting? The art design is great. The level design is excellent. Cool, interesting weapons. I give you, like, what? 10? 10 reasons why? Okay. We re I can tell you why FIFA and NBA 2K is interesting to me. But you can also say it's not interesting. And then what, am I gonna ask you, why is a different game interesting? You should play an Elden Ring right now. Interesting. This fucking asshole, his subjective fucking nonsense. Interesting. Interesting. Fun. Uh, what else? The fucking all these other stuff. It's just feelings. It's just feelings. And you can't expect 300 people to agree on what is interesting. Unless you are supposed to be the interesting thing. In which case you're not. In which case you're not. Where, because people can enjoy a guy playing a thousand games and think that it's interesting because they think that he is interesting. I mean, why do I have to explain this? And this is, by the way, one of the reasons why I, I'm gonna drop by on Twitch and talk about different people, like like Nostalgia Critic that I mention all the time. I want to talk about because with this guy, I feel like I'm repeating myself every fucking time. And it's just the same thing over and over again. And I want to shit on the different people in a different way and, and have different kinds of fun. So go and be a follower type thing. Open By the way, shout out to the person that, that gave me a, a gifted sub in uh, in Tevin's chat. This is epic as fuck. World aspect again. We're not in those legendary or uh, legacy style dungeons anymore. We're in open world exploration. I'm fighting enemies that are weak as shit. Not because I'm over leveled, but because the game has so much content. You end up being overleveled. I didn't purposely make it this way. The game made it that way. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the things about Elden Ring that's a game flaw. There's okay. too much mid-game content to wow. the point where you're going to be overleveled. Why are we talking about Elden Ring again? Leveled, no matter what you try, you're just going. By the way, the, the Twitch thing, uh, it's not like a permanent thing. I'm not going to stop making DSP shit. To be, if you're doing all the content of the game, the middle of the game is boring because you're too overleveled for all of it. Okay. <laughs> As That's I'm playing nice Elden note. Ring, I'm realizing more and more of the enemies are being completely overused and just redone over and over and over. Every dungeon, even a unique dungeon, I just finished what? a unique dungeon. What are you talking the about The boss this? I'd already fought. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is this the boss of the dungeon I already Now Elden Ring sucks? He fought him. Well, what is happening? Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what? To the point where I'm starting to heavily criticize the game and say it seems like about halfway through they gave up. Really, it seems like halfway through the effort that was put into Elden Ring has kind of fizzled out because it's just the same shit over and over. No matter where I go or what I do, maybe it looks a little different, but you're going to fight the same enemies, the same bosses, the same fucking shit. But somehow, Yo. you... Oh, Elden Ring is the best Yo. game I've ever seen. What? What? 
10 out of 10 and Phil should play this every stream. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. What is happening? <clears throat> really? What I'm liking is to balance different styles of games. Okay? okay. To balance Ghostwire with Elden Ring, it makes it work. As opposed to me just playing Elden Ring or Ghostwire constantly, then maybe we get bored of them. But me alternating between them, you know what I'm saying? And what gets me about this is no one can justify the criticism. Oh, it's boring. Why is it boring? <laughs> you will it never just win. Is. That's not an answer. You will never win a criticism battle with DSP. Never. I have no fucking self control. Hey, what is this? Hey, big ups, uh, King Cobra JFS, the probably fake one. Obviously, because he wouldn't promote himself like this. <laughs> but big ups for the for the three dollar tip. I don't know if you've heard of me, but I'm a small but hilarious lol cow. Check me out, dude. For sure, King Cobra. <laughs> for sure. Thanks for the promotion. Anyways, you will never, you will never beat this guy in a criticism fight because he will never take it. Eventually, when when he's backed up against the wall, the only thing he can say is is man, I call bullshit. I call bullshit on this and that. Can never win. It's here's what it is. It's called hype, ladies and gentlemen. It's you ready hype. for this? Because now I got to be real with my audience. It's and called now I got to be real. All right. When Elden Ring real, sold over 12 million copies within a week, and when everyone went nuts for the game, all right, everyone's Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Elden okay, Ring. Elden Ring. That was a but month DSP, ago. That was the you. game came out in late February. All right. I'm not going to just fucking play Elden Ring all year long. I Why like not? Elden Ring. I but then fucking finish it. Finish it. Wings is already like got the platinum for it. And he's Wings. Come on, DSP. Fucking finish the game. Stop talking about I'm it. I'm going to continue to play Elden Ring. That doesn't. And yeah, we're talking about hype, but this is the guy who did, uh, who did, uh, Elden Week. Elden Week. Every single day. Like I put in my video. Uh, if this was Elden Week, now I'm gonna stroke myself because because I'm good. Uh, this is how you don't premiere. For an entire fucking week. Every single day. Now I'm not gonna be able to find my video because now we get Premiere Pro tips. Which I'm probably gonna end up watching later because I like Premiere Pro. This is how you don't premiere. Elden Ring, there we go. First thing. This was the entire fucking thing. For an entire week about the game that started it all for me dark souls so, one dark souls dark souls two. dark souls with dark, dark souls dark souls dark souls, dark souls. From soft dark souls. style born they call them souls they born. Call them souls, souls dark souls one through three bloodborne and sekiro and in in reality dark souls dark souls where's dark souls dark souls all we care about is dark Souls. dark souls is the hot new game dark souls is what we want to see dark souls dark souls dark souls and that gets us up to 59 dollars <laughs> in tips <laughs> now the, this this segment is great i love it too this I'm next one email confirmation that these tips are coming through i'm like okay and neither of those email addresses are the email address that's associated when only ice coffee has tipped me in the past huh thank you for a very good pre-stream <laughs> dark souls dark souls dark souls this was an entire week of this an entire week for hype purposes and now tell me about hype gouty man tell me about hype downplay other games because the other tell games don't hype. have hype behind them like elden ring does or did okay what people need to do is wake the fuck up people need to wake the fuck up and stop buying the hype so much that you stop literally just talk about one game endlessly and then demand that everyone just play the game Ooh, no, nobody's doing this. Nobody is doing this. Uh, just listen to what he said. You just talk about one game endlessly and then demand that everyone just play the game. What does that even mean? What does that mean? And I can say that's exactly what he said because it's the transcript. What does that even mean? Bru Seriously. All right. Horizon Forbidden West was not a perfect game. I had many harsh criticisms for the game. But that game is a much better game than people have made it out to be, only because Elden Ring came out a week later. Who made it out to be what? There's barely any bad reviews of Horizon that I've seen. I saw Zero Punctuation, which is obviously Yahtzee is not going to like a game like that. Obviously. And uh, Angry Joe didn't like the story at all. Uh, he liked the gameplay. But outside of that, uh, who made it out to be like whatever? It was getting like 8s and 9s and 10s, mostly. Later? And now all anyone wanted to do was talk about Elden Ring, and that game actually doesn't exist anymore, right? It's hey, actually- look, What are you talking about, DSP? DSP, the entire world is not your chat. 
And if it was, you would have more than 10 people in your chat. It's funny now because it's been over a month later. And over a month later, now people are like, oh, actually, Horizon's good, but we didn't talk about it for like a month because we were playing Elden Ring. But it's like, well, now you're done with Elden Ring, you finally went back and you realized the game is good, huh? Maybe you should have fucking pulled your head out of your ass and actually fucking played more than one game at once so that Ooh. you could have seen the reality of things because now, sadly, Ooh. Horizon didn't sell. Horizon sales were up Horizon here and then when Elden Ring sell. came out, they went to the toilet and haven't come back. Yeah. This is going to end up being a game that's a... Because I've played Horizon before. Uh, actual sales what are you failure talking, what are we talking about hype. hype but we were talking about <laughs> what <laughs> and again i'm not saying horizon is the best game ever far from it i was very critical of the game but still i i'm so tired of the hype cycle dictating to gamers okay. this is what's good this is what you want all right all right I had this idea for a video before Elden Ring came out because every single tweet that he was putting out and now I'm going to explain to you the thing without showing it to you because showing it to you would take way, way longer. Every single tweet that he put out had hype in it and I did the YouTube search, uh, the, the Twitter um, search for words and I looked up hype and man, hype, 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 hype. This guy, this guy, from this guy, it's all the fucking hype. From this guy, on his own Twitter. Hype, 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 hype. Speaking of Twitter, uh, when he was trying to uh, go viral again, I took a screenshot of that, posted on my Twitter, and made fun of him. And I got more likes than he did on his rebound tweet, which was fucking funny. To see, Anyways. and everything else sucks. Yeah, the hype beast. Hype beast hypocrite. Dark side fucking Phil. Okay. Because he was hyping it so much. The same way with GTA. The same way with... What was it? I forgot at this point. Forza was gonna save the business. Metroid Dread was gonna save the business. How many? How many of them? How about this? You ready? Hype if beast. Ghostwire Tokyo or Horizon Forbidden West, okay? Or any other game... Probably after this stream, I'm gonna make a quick cut. Oh yeah, and Halo, of course. Uh, pro I'm gonna make a quick cut of this, where he shits on hype, and then cuts to all of his hype tweets. All of them. I'm gonna go through his entire Twitter and scrub everything. And cut it up in a fucking video. Dark side Phil, hype beast hypocrite. Cause he makes hype when he wants to stroke himself. For that matter that came but outside of that when somebody doesn't agree with him hype is not a thing it's a terrible thing and only the shills do it because they want to make a quick buck the quick buck came out in the last month came out either much later this year or much earlier before elden ring none of you would be saying these games are boring you wouldn't it's boring you would not, not. <laughs> and now he's talking about them being boring as if people in chat or trying to tell them that the game, that, that them playing the game is boring. No, DSP, you playing the game is boring. That's what we're, we're talking about. This is the point of discussion right now, right? And you brought it up. People are saying that when I play, when I play, Ghostwire is boring, right? This is the, the initial argument. This is where we start. When I play Ghostwire, people say I'm boring. He wrapped himself around talking about Elden Ring, and now we twisted everything into being the game itself is boring, and that's a fault of the hype. This motherfucker is so incoherent. It's the oh, there's no hype behind what it. What are you oh. talking about, bro? There's no oh, when Phil plays Ghostwire Tokyo, there's no chance that he could actually die a bunch of times to Ghoul a boss wire and rage Tokyo. and shit like that. Ghoul you wire know, it's, it's fucking bullshit. The game is good. It's bullshit. And I'm not gonna see yeah, this is this is his argument. It's bullshit. This is his argument. Like I just told you, in the end of the day, even when he puts himself in a corner, he's just gonna scream bullshit. You cannot physically, like, actually beat this guy in an argument that he will accept and he will say yes. I I I was wrong. He'd never do that. Never. Sit here, and I'm not gonna say well because oh, yeah, it's, it's uh, not gout wire. Gelt wire. Watching on with my mainstream beauty audience, I'm not going to play the game. It's ridiculous. I like the game. The game is good. It's different. It's refreshing. It's unique. And by the way, most of my audience. Hey, the game is a buzzword. Asked for variety, and that's why okay. I gave it to you. 
okay so what i would say is if you're one of these people who's like man oh listen I'm just to this not gonna check out this listen game to because this it's not elden ring you gotta pull your head out of your ass man like it's not there's not just one game a year you know there's just not and you have to broaden your horizons and give other games a chance and what's funny is those who actually are checking out this game seem to be liking it. Oh yeah, who is checking out this game? You scumbag. Let's call him out again. Who is checking out this game? Gaming. Who is checking out this fucking game? As many people as checked out Kirby, which we will also rant about. There is a video about Kirby as well. Who fucking checked this game out? Who? 13 likes. Man, they are loving this game. And he begs for them. It's not even like organic likes. Let's see at least five of those people like the video because they feel it's their obligation. It's not even legit fucking likes. It's begged likes. It's bought likes. Oh, this guy enjoys it. Shout out Lee Ralco for enjoying this. And thanks for the boy, which is probably vid, but all right. And uh, another dude enjoyed it. So three people. And he had 20 dislikes, but that's just because he gets dislikes all the time. That's just a natural thing that happens. They've come to a few people. You know, I say it's not as a many. Few people. Like I said, I How guarantee many? when like I start five? playing this game, the viewership on the, on the pre-stream will drop today. Okay? But for those who actually give it a chance to stick around, they're like, that's actually pretty good. It got better. Like last stream, it got progressively better the more I played it. We found we had a, a unique boss fight <clears throat> where I got a unique new abilities. We explored a whole construction site that was really neat. And then we went up a skyscraper through a mall. And we're fighting all these enemies. And there was okay. story elaboration. And today we're going to focus in on the story. Right. And. But it, it's. But this is kind of the same. You can make the same logic for Dying Light too, right? Man, we were jumping across rooftops. And sneaking into places where the zombies were sleeping. And it was like so intense. And it was like, man. that That's such good gameplay. You can make the same fucking an analogy for a, a different game just by explaining it in a way where it seems interesting bro come on but he quit dying light too that shit's never coming back i, I quit it too but i did because i'm playing it on the on the playstation 4 and that shit trash because the, there's major pop in fps drops i would be gliding around town and then the game would say stop i need to load and then it would just load for like 10 seconds Sounds good. I, I just find it like, how can you tell me that wasn't fun or interesting? Huh? Oh, it was boring. Why? Can't justify it. What just do you mean you can't justify it? You're boring. That's my justification. But now my justification needs to apply to everybody, right? For it to be valid. For it to be valid. And that's physically impossible. It never is possible. It was boring. Well, you know what they say, okay? What do they say? Here's Maybe what they boring. say. What There's do they say? You should probably pay attention to it. It's pretty interesting. If you're bored, then maybe it's you that's boring. What? Huh? How does that make any sense? What? Bro, I'm here to have fun. And you are boring. Then instead of explaining to you why you're boring what i'm gonna do is close the fucking tab and go watch somebody else this guy is fucking wild man because in this world there's all kinds of crazy huh? fun things going on around all of us at all times things that should occupy you and take up your time if you can't find something positive around you to say oh that's interesting you're supposed to be positive dipshit you're supposed to be positive Man, if you think my stream is boring, you are boring. Destroyed. With facts and logic. Maybe you're the one that's fucking boring. Maybe what does that even mean? What does that mean? You're the person who's boring? I'm watching a YouTube video. And I'm boring? What does that mean? How does this apply to anybody? What? I'm, I'm here for this guy to fucking entertain me. And he calls me boring. Yes, okay, I can be boring. I can be stupid. I can be a wheelchair. I can be anything. It's still your job to entertain me and to not be boring. Maybe you're the person who's such a one-track mind thinker that all you're looking for is one- He's talking, he's talking, by the way, about his own viewers. By the way, by the way, the people that pay his bills, he is talking to them. Speci he's talking about them. Yeah, what's up, uh, Pseudo Monica? That kind of thing. By the way, everybody who keeps asking about the lights, it's, uh, it, they're supposed to blink like that. 
I can also put them in, in seizure mode, but this is going to happen when, when something fun happens. And if you can't get it exactly when you want it, it's gonna oh, take a I'm long so time. bored, the world is boring. What? You can't please everyone. And this is what we're talking about now. He twisted this whole situation about him being boring as an entertainer, about you being boring and him having to please everybody. You just can't. And it's funny to me because right now, not only am I playing Ghost War, I'm also playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. How many people <clears throat> completely right? Oh, and we're going to rant about Kirby. Off games because they're Nintendo first party games. Because they're for kids. Oh, first party Nintendo games. Thus, those are kids games. Those are cute. Because <laughs> they're not interested in them. See games, they're not. I never liked Nintendo. I never had a Nintendo console. Naturally, I'm not going to gravitate towards that kind of games. Okay? Meant to be played by adults. Literally, I get people coming by when I play Kirby. Why are you playing this? Aren't you going to be 40 <laughs> years old? Stop it with the zooms. No, no zooms. Maybe. Like, who's the immature person here? You. Because you're ranting about imaginary people that allegedly have a hive mind. This is the thing. He expects his viewers to have a hive mind. The thing that is terrible about his trolls, right? We have a hive mind here. You, you remember? But he expects them to have a hive mind and to explain to him exactly, exactly why they think this is boring. So he can tell them that it's not his fault and he can do nothing about it. The person playing Sounds the good. game, judging it at face value and genuinely enjoying it, or the person who literally is such dumb and immature, they've written the game off without even giving it a shot because you think it's a kid's game. You have this weird preconceived notion. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with kid's games or, or child-oriented focused games. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm just saying that I'm not into it. It's just like, it's, it's you that is the problem, not the fucking kid's right. game. Seriously, this is fucked up. This, that this up. is the mentality of modern gamers and it actually pisses me off because I'm trying to play a variety of games. I'm trying to enjoy a variety of games. After playing Elden Ring for a month, people okay. told me to try different games. So oh I Oh my God, man. This is gonna be with every game. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is gonna be with every new game. He's gonna get 200 views and bitch. And he's gonna bitch for 40 minutes a day. He's probably even gonna bitch today. It's not his day off again, right? It's not. Today we're gonna see him. We're gonna see him bitch raw. The raw bitching. Now you're telling me they're all boring. Well, what would you like me to do? Would you like me to incorporate Elden Ring mechanics in every game? Would what? you like me to pump up the difficulty of every game to maximum? Maybe you're just a piece of shit that's not fun. Put the lot And maybe you should get a job because it's not going to last very long. Lives down to minimum. Purposely tell myself I'm huh? only going to play with one button when I play these what fucking games. Mean? Okay, right? What does that even mean? But this is the, I don't understand this. Everyone has this weird get good mentality. And if you don't overly what? challenge yourself. What? And if every game is hyper difficult, it's not a good game. What? Wrong. There is definitely space in the gaming world for a wide variety of experiences. And that's what I try to put through on my streams. Just because right now Elden Ring is hot because it is the hyper difficult open world exploration game. Doesn't mean. But there was a deleted super chat. Hold, hold the fuck on. What, what is happening? Now everybody has a get good mentality. What the fuck is happening? I'm going to go delete that, uh, read that super chat. What did it say? Dude, read your chat. Literally nobody agrees with this terrible take. It's not the games, Phil. It's your attitude. Why did you send him five bucks to say this? Dummy, why would you do this? When you know you're gonna get deleted. Eh, would you like- Why would you say this? Why? And give him five bucks, big ups, games? for saying, stating the obvious, that you're gonna get leaned right now. He's you getting leaned right maximum, now, look at this. Put the lies Watch this down nice lean in manual. Purposely tell myself I'm only gonna play with one button. A nice lean in manual. When I play these fucking games. Yeah, this guy got leaned okay, immediately. Right? But this is the, I don't understand this. Everyone has this weird get good mentality. And if you don't overly challenge. Oh, yeah. And we would all be fucking get good Other bullshit. What are you on talking the planet about? Sucks. And the thing is, about? if you don't like it, that's OK. What do you mean? That's OK. But then don't come crap on it and don't complain when I'm not playing the one specific game you want. It's such oh. a ridiculous. And Bro. All right. He's dealing with 
the the streamer 101 problem right with the streamer 101 problem it's like people want you to play this game you're not playing it or you are playing it and then that's the hype game but you want to do something else you do something else they come and they complain this is streamer 101 you got to know how to address this and how he addresses it is saying that those people are boring and they should be open-minded or whatever fucking bullshit no you just tell them dude i'm playing this today if you don't like it come around the next time i'm playing the thing you like just like when I stream myself on Twitch with this bullshit, I'm gonna tell you, come on YouTube if you want to see the DSP shit. And this is it. That's it. That's it. It's the easiest, most basic way to address it. Just come check it out when I'm doing this thing that you like. And if you don't like this thing, then I'm sorry, but I can't always do this thing that you like. That's it. Entitled. Over the top. Entitled. Uh, demanding mindset to have on any content creator. And by the way, I'm not the only person who says this. Every major content creator will tell their audience this. Yeah, but, but they don't because... say it like a fucking retard. They don't make a 20 minute addressing video. You fucking idiot. They say it like a normal person. If you don't like this game, drop by next time when I'm playing this other game that I that you like. This is how it fucking works. They don't say it like a massive fucking idiot. Because, of course, like I just said, it's a streamer 101 thing. Everybody, it happens to everybody. You play a game, it's like with fucking Ninja. If he was playing Fortnite today and Elden Ring tomorrow, and somebody sends him 50 bucks, because that's the one that he would probably respond to, and says, I want you to go play Elden Ring again, or Fortnite. And then Ninja's gonna say, well, dude, I'm playing Elden Ring today. Sorry, you should come over next time, or go watch the videos on demand on YouTube. Every, like I just said, everybody is addressing this. It, it's it's a thing that happens all the time. Anything you stream, anything you make, it, it's like with anything. It's Dark Side Phil saying it. No, Dark Side Phil is saying it in the most retarded way alive. That's the issue. It's the way you're doing it. Like with everything else, the way you're doing it is the problem. It makes you look like a dipshit. Somehow it's negative and it's toxic. No, it's not. Somehow. You, if you have that mindset right yeah. now, are a fucking idiot. You are a fuck. It, this is not negative and toxic. Bro. This is, the, I don't even know like what, what the fuck to, how to, to respond to this. He just said, he just said. Dark side Bill is talking it, uh, is saying it. I'm gonna go and find it because this needs to get the uh, transcript sniped. He just said their audience, but just because it's Dark side Bill saying it, it's somehow it's negative and it's toxic. In the same breath, in the same breath, what he says is if you have this mindset, you are you are a fucking idiot. In the same breath, this is what is this? Four seconds later. Look at this. How do I do it? Look at this. Four seconds later. What? It's not four seconds later. Like Ten seconds later. But you know what I mean. In the same breath. How is this? Con like, how can you contradict yourself in the same sentence, DSP? You judge me unfairly because you think that Phil is an internet meme to be made. No, oh, Phil is a joke. He's not an internet meme. He's a meme, period. He's a meme in reality, not only on the internet. Fun of and derided. Fuck you. Fucking Brendan Fraser is a meme on the internet. DSP is a meme in life. He's a living meme. He's not a meme on the internet. If that's the case, I don't that leave is you the here. Case. You can leave and you can go off to yeah, your you can come here. fucking place where you like to hang out. Yes. Where half the time you're probably there anyway with the illegal restreamers and shit. Illegal Go streams. off and hang out with them and don't come back. Okay? Right. <clears throat> don't come back. I want to have fun with my viewing audience. And the truth is... But they don't agree with you. How are you going to have fun with people who don't agree with you on, on the ways of having fun? How can you do that? You're contradicting yourself. You just started the video by saying people don't agree with me. I want to have fun, but we don't agree. So we let's agree. And then in the end is I just want to have fun. So we can't agree. We just have to agree with Phil. I get it. Okay. If you it. come and chill with me, 
and you have a good time this? with the games that I'm playing. No matter what uh, it is. This was a kid army watch. <laughs> uh, was this a, a calendar notification? That's a positive relationship. That's Big okay. Up. I'm here to have fun with Phil. One day he'll play Elden Ring. It'll be hyper challenging. Hey, my timer rage is how lost. difficult it my is. Timer. And it'll be hilarious to watch him fail and laugh at his rage. But then the next stream, he's playing Kirby and he's gelling and he's relaxing. And it's a different kind of vibe. And that's cool to see different sides of the same kind of content creator. But the bottom line is there's just so many people who are negative and toxic and pig-headed and one-track-minded pig these days. The they don't understand you can broaden your horizons and enjoy different kinds of content, even from the same person. All right? And I'm going to be honest. I'm uh, getting pissed, what? I'm pissed at it. I'm what if your chill content is just garbage? What if you're boring when you're chill? That's the thing. What if you're boring when you're chill? That's just how it is. Maybe you shouldn't be chill. Maybe you should be hype all the time, but hype is bad. So just don't exist, I guess. Tired of it. I want to be able to have a good right. time with my audience, no matter what kind of game I'm playing. People need to come here for the experience of enjoying different styles of game. Now I'm only here to shit on Phil constantly because I'm tired of the shitting. I really am. <laughs> I'm tired of the shitting and people are there to be like, I just want to shit on Phil constantly. Get shit on. Get shit on. I wish I had it on the soundboard. But, and this is also the guy, he's he's recently been, been getting really st stirred up in, in talking about this bullshit. Uh, because the, who, who was criticizing him? Some verified guy was in his chat and he made a whole rant about him. I, I watched this the other day. Made a whole ass rant about him. I don't know why you're here, but you wanna fucking shit on me? I, I'm done with this. If you're in my chat, I'm gonna roast your fucking ass. That was exactly how it went. Uh, big ups to your boy for the super chat. Positive fans swallow everything robustly. <laughs> it's okay. They swallow the positivity. Okay shit Come on. on me when I'm playing Open Elden Ring. wide. It's not okay to shit on every other game because it's not Elden Ring and you can't shit on me because I'm not dying in five like, seconds bro. when I play Ghostwire or when I play Kirby. It's just not acceptable behavior anymore. All right? So enough is enough. I'm not going to take this overwhelming negativity and this big toxic feeling that I get when I'm playing games that aren't Elden Ring. If I see it, you're out. I don't want to put up any bullshit. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to put any bullshit from any of these morons anymore. Okay? Uh, so, okay. All right. It's okay. If you really don't like it's okay. Ghostwire Tokyo, fine. If you've actually... But wait, wait, it's not fine. It, you can't have 15 minutes of ranting about it and calling people boring. Or you being boring and then saying it's fine. It's not fine. Watched it and given it a fair chance and said, uh, okay, I don't find this particularly interesting. Hey, Formulate really, that so thought grateful. and tell me why. And maybe, just maybe, I'll listen and say, okay, maybe that makes sense. That's a valid criticism of why someone might not like the game. I like it, but you don't. I've seen none of that. Literally, I've seen none of that. The one criticism I can say of the game, it has that collect-a-thon aspect to it where you're open world exploring, you gotta collect a lot of shit. Outside of that, everything about this game is unique and interesting, and no one can tell me a reason why it's bad besides, oh, it's not Elden Ring, it's not challenging enough, you're not dying every 10 seconds. So you're an idiot. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, this, let's get this over with. I'm, I'm tired of being fucking confused. Okay, thanks. So you I'm don't tired. like the game because you're an idiot. I understand now. Thanks for that justification, because <laughs> that's exactly what you're saying if that's how you say it, okay? Fuck, bro. What? All right, so. So, uh, I, I, I agree with you, invalid bag activity. You have to, with this fucking asshole, you have to take your subjective opinion and convince him that it's an objective opinion, which is impossible, bro. I'm going to consider, consider, continue. <laughs> I'm going to continue to play Ghostwire Tokyo and balance it with Elden Ring. It's Get not going to change. You're gonna quit I it. would urge you, okay, <laughs> please check out the playthrough please, of Ghostwire Tokyo. Please. All right. If you have not, if you have and you've actually formulated an intelligent opinion that you don't like it, great. Thank you for doing that. Please don't shit on the game constantly as I play it. All right. But no, they're shitting on you. They're shitting on you. You're boring. All right, this is this is it, this is it. There, nothing can possibly happen in the rest of this video. And then we're talking about what is this? Kirby. Oh, I don't give a shit about Kirby. Not covering this, quote unquote, covering this. <laughs> what was uh, Aquatil? There was some clips, unrecorded type, type deal. 
Let's see this. Oh, mobile games. Yeah, let's talk about mobile games. Hey, trolls, DSP plays mobile games, but not the one you think. Someone here asking me what's my favorite mobile game. Obviously, what they're trying to do is uh, piss me off with the stupid, okay. you know, detractor meme. It's not a meme. I actually admitted this because it's not really funny. It's actually very sad. Last year, I'll say it again. I actually do play some mobile games. Yeah, I do. All right, the ones that I play are free to play. Okay. 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 Or incredibly inexpensive, like you spend a dollar here or there to make progress. Here or there to make progress. But DSP, that's how it works. By the way, I'm I'm a genius streamer, so now I'm gonna forward you to my own fucking page, uh, where today I talked about gotcha games on on the sock account right you can go in and watch this thing where i talked about gotcha games and that's exactly how they fucking work a dollar here or there to progress turns into thousands of dollars here and there so yeah Progress. that was a nice plug come on go watch that video play the mobile game bullshit it's nothing special it's talk about on the internet it's not true um, how is it not true prove it. it it would be super easy to prove super easy just do it. Come on. Um, if somebody was saying slanderous shit like this about me and I could help myself to prove it, I would prove it in a million ways. I would make a video and, and put that that link in, in the description to all my shit. But if I were to actually reveal to you guys the game second channel name is because I can't send it in chat because I'm trash. Uh, but this it's literally just sock account name. It's quite literally a sock account name. All right. And this is the name. Okay. Games that I played, you know exactly what would happen. People would immediately go out there and try to fucking create negative shit about it. They try like to find my account and harass the makers of the game and do all kinds of dumb shit. You know, like they do right now for a game I do. Harass don't... the makers of the game. Even fucking play, right? You do so, play it though. That's why I would never tell you. Oh, you actually legit do play it. Don't don't even try. Guys about that stuff. Don't even oh, try. I'm stupid. <laughs> you know I'm I've not stupid. Well, you are stupid. You number one took the bait, and number two you are lying. In number three you admit to playing other games for a dollar here or there to progress. This motherfucker is begging every fucking day and spending a dollar here or there to progress in a free-to-play mobile game. This is what we're talking about. But he's not stupid, you guys. He is not stupid. That's why he fucking admitted this. Because he's an actual fucking idiot. Since the, the original bullshit. He admit that he is begging day to day. And when he has a day off, he can't even like sometimes can't afford to do the things that he planned to do. But he's admitting to that he spends a dollar here or there to progress. Phil, how can you be saying that you're not a fucking idiot and contradict yourself with actions in that same breath? It started years ago with the negative memes about mobile games. Literally, I, I will never the tell negative you memes. I just what do you mean the negative memes? You told us everything. Go watch this video, Mr. Hot Stuff. Uh, DSP Gaming Gotcha King, Mr. Hot Stop, Gotcha King. This is what you look up. This is the video you watch. I watched this on stream. It's a 36 minute video with DSP admitting to all of his fucking scams. All of his scams. You look up tunes. What? What is it gonna show up? For the years I know that when you sync a, a credit card with iTunes. He's telling you his whole scam and how it all works and people can still question him. And if you do a bunch of transactions on there that are out of the ordinary, like you buy a bunch of music out of nowhere or maybe you have a mobile game, you're, you're going to toss Listen some money at a mobile Listen game. This. Uh, sometimes you'll get flagged there. Listen to this. He, he knows everything about this. He knows everything about this. Go watch the video. It's like 40 minutes of him admitting that he's a beast. The Forgotcha game. He's a beast. He just won't. It's a waste of everyone's time, you know. I can't have fun and share that kind of stuff with you guys anymore. Because yeah, because it contradicts your fucking life. Contradicts everything you say. And you live in paycheck to paycheck. Dudes living paycheck to paycheck don't spend money on free games, you dipshit. Free games. You know, let me put it to you this way. 
years and years ago. I remember the first mobile game I ever talked to talk you guys about. I, I legit urge you to go watch uh, that video of uh, Gotcha King because he admits everything. You are physically incapable of questioning anything after that video. It was a game. It was a Marvel game. It was Marvel, a card game. It wasn't. It, what was it called? I can't even remember what it was Future called. Fight? It was like, like Marvel Ultimate Alliance cards or something yeah, like it's that. bullshit what, right now. Let's see how it was called because I have it here. Yeah, I have it here because he admits to everything. He fucking admits to everything. Let's see. We look up here, open up the transcript, bust it wide open, Control F, Marvel. All right, here it is. Marvel War of Heroes DSP. It's a collectible card game with Marvel Comics characters. And also Marvel War of Heroes, which is a collectible Marvel co War of Heroes. Card game with Marvel Comics characters. Very addictive. I'm gonna send you. Course, very addictive. They, tr they, they they tempt you so much to sink money I'm into them. I'm gonna send them. the I link in chat in a little, second. Just let me figure them, out how. Honest. Um, and I'm enjoying the hell out of those games. You know, for portable stuff, I like, oh, look, Marvel War of Heroes. Well, I got 10 minutes to kill for, oh, here me, oh, you know, I'm at a restaurant, I order my food, I'm bored, let me do something. We go Injustice Mo uh, Mobile app, kill a couple dudes by going like an idiot like this, and then, oh, food's <laughs> here, okay, put it back down. That's how I'm really treating. Yeah, yeah, that's how you're treating it. This is the Marvel game. Then we have Champions. Let's look, oh, what is this? And I play a game called WWE Champions, which what? of all things, if you can believe it, is... Huh? 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 It's a WWE game that plays like Candy Crush. Huh? It's huh? basically just huh? moving gems huh? around huh? and breaking colored gems. All right. All right. All right. And this is the smirk you get from the guy that spends all his money on this bullshit. All his money on this bullshit. What it was was hey guys i'm not a fucking idiot i spent a dollar here and there these really cool pieces of marvel uh what's the extension that i use uh oh so the transcript appears below the video that's because i have my window just shrunk because i'm i'm streaming and watching on the same laptop on the same screen so i basically split the windows between the left side and the right side of the screen so if you do that your whole browser is going to resize and everything is going to fit on one page. Called responsive development. Re responsive? Yeah, responsive. Artwork from over the years. Real comic book artists had drawn these. And it was a card game where the cards would fight. You have all these different stats, you know. Oh, it's the, the speed character versus the power character. Okay, now we're trying to convince... Uh, now we're trying to confuse people. This is now, this is just rambling to confuse people because it's like uh, absolutely worthless information. Many, many years ago, like 10 years ago, okay, or more. And I started playing the game and I liked it. And there was this promotion where if you convinced other people to create an account and log in. Okay, so a referral. an account and logged in and then they recommended people. It was basically like this recommendation. Chain. Yeah, it's a referral fucking link DSP. Stop trying to bullshit people. Where you would be rewarded it's... in game with a free card. People don't know what uh, referrals are. By the end of, the, of me doing it, I just- but, but click on my Amazon referral link, you guys. What? casually hmm. on like twitter suggested the game and put a link that was out, a long I time ago though. i got like i'm not even kidding like 200 cards it's all the same card but i got like 200 of them because so many i was so popular back then back in the day that people would just do it on a whim because i suggested i said oh i'm playing this game i like it so that being right. said um what's hilarious about that is at that point did it ever become a fucking crazy ass conspiracy theory yeah did you spend thousands of dollars on it and get got exposed did that happen did it become a big thing conspiracy theory people have more proof than him they have more proof than he does it's a conspiracy theory you guys no it was like no one even talked about uh, it. who are you even trying to fool just stop talking about it Content? no one who are you trying to fool and now he in this video he confirms spending money on mobile games still spending money on mobile games never gonna stop if his bank getting hacked and being exposed didn't stop him he will never stop cared no one cared him shit it was only until much later, years later, that the toxicity... No so one cared. Bad. Yeah, because you filed for bankruptcy and lied. Lied. $5,000 a month on this business? On this business? 
Yeah. With me and my I agree with you. Identity where people wanted to completely spin everything into a toxic, nonsensical conspiracy theory mess. Of course. And now I know I of can't course. even tell I'm you. I'm sitting here trying to make shit up. I'm sitting here writing down shit to make up. Man, next, what is gonna be next? He's gonna be addicted to crack next. It's like I'm writing the show for this for the next season. And after that, we're getting the, the wife divorces him, the cat becomes uh, an actual, I don't know, a, a, a human. And I can't even give you an idea of the games that I would play online because idiots would try to figure out all my personal information and harass people online. And harass people it. online? It's stupidity. Okay. They did. They did harass some of the people on on one of his guilds, though. But that's like a, just like an individual guy. I don't know him. I disavow that action. But like, I didn't fucking do it. So no, I'm not going to talk about mobile games. I'm not going to tell you about games that I play or anything like that because it would be a complete waste of everyone's time, and it would just be fucking. You know what I mean? It would just be a big mess for everybody. All right. Sure. It's a big mess for everybody. Uh, let's see. I think it was forbidden math that had that clip uh with something else decorations day off eavesdropping no that was this shit but let's see what he's gonna say about the the decoration stuff it's terrible all right hello everyone uh on the pre-stream podcast today talk about my day off actually yesterday was was kind of inter interesting uh, uh let's see the decorations by the way the way that he hyped this is something along the lines of oh my god you guys you guys won't believe how amazing my decorations are gonna be and and their ass so yeah you you get what you pay for i guess <laughs> except you get nothing like that so yeah we just what is ass, happening like I said, today is the 30th of there's March. like what half an hour until he goes actually live all right let's let's fill it up 2022 we've got a lot to talk about today news like what gaming news happened when i wasn't here are you shocked that on my day off gaming news occurred bro your stupid ass day off is in the middle of the week you fucking idiot of course shit is gonna happen when you're not here you're not on your day off on fucking sunday or saturday you're your day off on monday and tuesday of course shit's gonna happen you fucking idiot the world revolves around phil we need to stop existing. What is this? Decorations? Birthday decoration. Okay, let's see how he's hyping it. That's up. right. Welcome to the birthday bash. To the the, the birthday bash birthday build up. Bash. You can't call stuff something and then have it be terrible. That's right. As you can see, I have some birthday decorations here in my recording studio. I'm going to start recording. Recording studio. Recording studio no, you shouldn't on. record it. Uh, you shouldn't call it because everybody knows it's just a playroom for a man baby. You shouldn't be calling it something else. Just because you call something else doesn't mean it is something else. Just because you call your playroom a fucking recording studio, that does not make it not a playroom for a man child. And just because you call yourself a crowdfunded individual doesn't mean you're a filthy beggar. Come a running joke. I think it's actually quite funny. Um, you are a filthy beggar. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, a recording studio. It's like this dude is making fucking beats with like Metro Boomin or somebody. We have decorations. Does Metro still make beats? In effect, for the next. I week, don't know. All London up on to the my track. Big birthday bash spectacular on my actual birthday which incidentally is exactly one week from today. Okay. Yeah, look at all the audio equipment, man. The, the recording studio. A shitty mic with no with no processing whatsoever on it. No processing whatsoever. And in and a, and a, what is that? A pop filter. Okay. Fucking nice. <clears throat> recording studio. Not even a mixer. I would say I went all out this year, but in reality, I actually... Doesn't have a mixer, right? You just fucking jack it in the laptop, and that's it. Less all out Swag. than I usually do. Oh yeah, and we have... How could I fucking forget? We have a soundproofing foam, which makes it a studio. This is what makes it a studio. Previous years you've seen, I put up things like... Yeah, you're making beats with Chief Keef. <laughs> and Lil Piggy. Lil Piggy records in that studio. That's the, the Snort Wave Records recording studio. I have to travel there every time. And all kinds of it smells a lot, you guys. You wouldn't believe. Decorations and balloons and things. This year, literally, I did two things. I bought these giant balloons. Okay, five bucks. Reorganized this, and I bought reorganized party this. horns that don't party work. Party horns. Again, ready? Listen You're embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Embarrassing. 
Look at how sad it is. It's such a sad party horn. Yeah, just perfectly suitable for the sad fucking pity party we're watching. <laughs> perfectly suitable. I love it. It actually droops after you blow it. It droops after you blow it. Just like your cack. Probably. Huh? <laughs> it droops <laughs> after you blow it, you guys. But the good news is I still got a party horn for like four yeah. years now, huh? <laughs> and that one still worked. Fuck so we yeah. have a working yeah, She's one. been sucking on this for three years? Even though I went out and I bought the new one, it's a piece of shit. Stop um, it. Stop sucking. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time or money. Let's just put it that way. Time I... or money? <laughs> How much money do you need? How much money you need for, for this to not look like garbage? And I didn't have time because you manage your time like trash. Because we got to talk for nothing for an hour and a half every single day of your life. I didn't. And I was Holy like, fuck. I want to do something different. There was a different video about him having kids. I want to watch this. I remember this. Uh, but yesterday I was doing something I remembered and man DSP said he doesn't want kids because he has a lot of YouTube videos on the internet That's exactly what he said for this year <laughs> but I don't, Then I was like what? I don't have a lot of time to buy anything elaborate or whatever Dad my legacy is a, a bunch of let's plays What? Ever so I just ran out I said what would be ridiculous Bro, and my wife says I'm well, gonna watch this later balloons? Huh? And I said yeah but we did balloons last year She's like yeah but that was just like more do generic balloons again. controller and a happy birthday Why don't you do something ridiculous It is a milestone <laughs> birthday guys, for your life You guys I don't want to spread my, my legacy Because my legacy is YouTube videos The, the heavy rain playthrough Not that is better than kids Everyone gets to turn 40 more than once uh, Wait, Let's what? plays don't no, disappoint you man only gets to turn Except when you're watching DSP huh? 40 more than once So why not do something that stands out so we just bought two ridiculously large balloons. Now the funny part about this is, we actually had appointments and things to do yesterday. We had to get our hair cut and other things, and we only had time to go to the party store before the haircut. <laughs> the party and store? So, you not have a car? We buy the balloons. Oh, and the filter, the filter comes off from time to time. I don't know how the fuck it happens. How how does he make this filter? It is it not an OBS filter? Because as you can see here, his I face at some point now it looks normally normal complexion yeah, style hair right and, and now at some point it completely zones out and you see a ghoul the store before the haircut and so and right now now it gets off is it just like a face filter it only works if, if a face is there it's like a snapchat filter i'm so confused you buy the balloons and then it resets Wait a minute. This could be part of my Phil's day off. Oh, it story. might be automatic. Well, yeah. Anyway, we bought the balloons. Okay. And uh, we were like, how are we going to drive around with these giant balloons in the car all day? And again, and I'll talk fell off. How are we going to drive around with the... Bro, everything is a fucking problem with this dude. Everything is a problem. Hey, hello, Chris Chan. It's nice to see there's, there's Wi-Fi in jail. What is going on with this camera? Damn. You see, it's, I'm going pink, and then I'm, I look like I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why do I look dead? Can I get some color back? Can I get I'm the I'm color back? Auto, I, click auto. I want to go pink, and then I'm going to unclick Dab it. on now, that bitch like pink. Kodak. I to go pink. Yeah, you know now that. I can't go pink. Now I'm, I'm a pale zombie. I'm dead. I'm like a vampire in here. Yeah, you are. But that's how you look like in reality, though. Does that make it not funny? Well, I'm at the ready to click Bro, on this. Bro, prison has Wi-Fi legit? You. Uh, I can unclick and try to lock it in because I like the pink over being dead. I look dead right now, don't I? Oh, I'm oh pink. yeah, I'm pink. A thousand percent. I'm okay, pink. there we go. This guy is wild, bro. He can't even color correct himself. What great white balance. Anyway, um, and nice so we'll have a Phil's Day Off segment here. Fuck your Wrong. Phil's Day Off. Sometimes I take a Monday off, sometimes I take a Tuesday off, sometimes it's later in the week, and it's always gaming news on my day off. What about the decorations? Very slightly, it's not a big deal. It is not a big deal, your color? Like test how the fan and everything would react. Oh, the fucking fan, this guy is, this guy is just ridiculous. Uh, how is the, the video called of him not wanting to have kids and instead saying that he wants more videos? Uh, DSP Gaming, kids? Children? A children's entertainer, failing at kids game. Celebrates this, celebrates this, spending money on grandkids. Oh yeah, this is, yeah, that story. Uh, adult, adult YouTube account. Oh, this is when he was telling people to make a 18 plus account to verify their accounts, which actually is, is way more hassle than it sounds like. Because back in the days you could just simply lie. And now you need to put up your fucking credit card information or some shit. 
what do we got here? Children. Can I do this? Doesn't want kids? How is the... Let's sort by upload date and find it. Begs children. He is still a child. But this from... Not very... Admits to... <laughs> Wait, what? That's right, I'm a huge pervert, guys. That's all I do. I just masturbate constantly in front of children. You're of course. <laughs> Holy fuck, where do I find it? Who has this clip? Oh, it's Kate Army Watch has it? Okay. Maybe I watched it on my own time. That's why it might show up as, as a watched video. What is this? Stubbornly resisting advice, derailing suggestions. The next big thing. Midlife crisis. Oh, yeah, this is it. I think I watched this, right? This was the denial segment. I'm gonna watch it again because I have time to fill. Come on. I have like 20 minutes to fill. You're looking at... Let's see, kids? Do we have kids on this? Kids? What of fam families have kids? Oh, that, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This is it. For a lot of people... Let's just start from here. This this whole d idea of over the hill 40 is actually a bad thing. Of course. Because they're like, oh, it's, it's like good. a midlife crisis. You're in the middle of your life and you reassess everything around you and what you're doing with your life. And a lot of people end up feeling like they they don't like their lives. I'll be honest. Okay. This is but not I'm me, by the way. But this is in general the, the this mentality. This is not me, this. by the way. You look at the situation. I can't figure out if it's both him being a massive narcissist and completely delusional or wanting to spite the trolls by saying that he's the happiest guy in life. But obviously he's not. Obviously he's not. From all the shit that I watched today, this guy's miserable as fuck. And he looks like it too. I've never seen a happy guy who Shin? looks this shitty. Never. And you're like, well... Legit. A lot of people... Well, Christian is dating Panda Lee. That's pretty dope, dude. Is she Asian? Can you married, confirm if she's Asian or not? Or in a ongoing, meaningful relationship by the time that they're this age. A lot of people have families, okay. kids. All right, a lot of people are locked in financially to a lot of things that okay. are maybe good or could be really bad dependent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna um, switch the hat. And a lot of people take a look uh, at everything going on, you know, in their lives and say, oh, I hate it. And it's typical, it's actually a running joke in the United States that people will like, when they hit 40 years old, Yo, the fake accounts are in full force today. We got a fake Derek in chat. Derek, is this you? Huh? It's obviously fake Derek. Come on, dude. Look and say, Tell me who's your favorite porn star. Verify that you're real. Who is the one? Oh, I need to change everything, man. I want to feel like I'm a spr- <laughs> Big ups, Derek. Gotta make him a mod. I spring chicken again. I gotta act like, you know, uh, I'm 20 years old again. And, you know, you Do have you? guys running out. And they're buying Shout out Luna you know, sports cars and shit, <laughs> even though they shouldn't. They're, they have families at home. Why are you irresponsibly spending your money on a sports car? Yo, by the way, Derek had a video on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> He's dope as fuck. Derek Ip. What the what the Ip stand for? Oh my god, there's two more too many Derek's. Too many Derek's. What is this? Hello, Roy Francis and the WWE <laughs> Universe. What the fuck is happening? Walking Why is Dead my Universe. So sideways? What the fuck? Walking Dead Universe. Uh, UFC Universe. Yo, all and the universes. More. Shout Here's out all the universes. Absolutely, Victor's huh? Pokemon uh, theme song. The intro. All right. Wait, what? Okay. Me, you. It's about me. It's about hope. It's about dreams. Is this supposed to be a cover? This is legit a, a Christian thing. It's about friends that work together to claim their destiny. It's about reaching for the sky. Pokemon. Urge and <laughs> it's legit a Christian moment. Look at this. Christian a uh, song, right? He used to do that shit too. Virgin with Rage. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. Hey, look at me. I'm sitting here sad. I'm gonna put this in, in uh, seizure mode. Without a fire butter. We have time to kill you guys. Come on. This is gonna be the stream now. To not 
hear you say, say, I want it that way, as I see the ladies walking. This is a horny core. This is how the, the, the song is called. I never want to hear I have <laughs> a boyfriend. boyfriend. Tell, Tell me why, why I'm still still a virgin, virgin with rage. rage. Tell, Tell me why I need a cute, cute girl my age. Tell, Tell me why I never want to hear you say, say I want this is this is the thing i uh, I'm, I'm about to <laughs> legit have some physical response to these lights oh all right this is done this is done go back to phil <laughs> this was actually fun i'm sorry for that we're not used to this a lot of people feel that like oh you know this is the time in my life that now i need to show that i'm still energetic and young at, at, maybe at heart even if i'm not young in in, in person a lot of people completely change their physical appearance um, and their style, right? It's like, why do you have a middle-aged dad, what? right? Who's all of a sudden walking around with sunglasses on and, you know, he's we wearing stylish clothing, what? driving a sports car around. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, you have a family home. Like, Why are we cheating on other random people? The stereo... We're hating on stereotypes. Focus, right? <laughs> oh, and, and vicious snort. All right. Anyway, this is just a running kind of a, a cultural thing here in the United States. It's a cultural thing. The okay. funny part about all that is literally none of that applies to me. <laughs> like, This is the best thing, the best thing in life. I'm in a good situation. Best thing is in life are free. And who knows? Such as DSP to some extent? No, you know, in my life. Just like gotcha games, basically. Over the course of my life. Many times people ask me, Phil, what do you want to do with your life? Where do you picture yourself nothing, when you're this age? Nothing, nothing exists. That's his thing. He has no goals. There is no point where he decides, hey, that's it. I, I did it, you guys. I did it. There's no goals. He just wants to exist. That's his entire point of his life is to keep existing. That's the entire point. And when that's the point of your life, you're just like not really existing. At this time period, uh, right? I just want to exist, spam more YouTube videos. And basically... Man. Uh, more, more playthroughs. I never answered those questions because my life has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, ups really? and downs. Sometimes there's waves of positivity and sometimes there's crashing the waves of negativity. valleys of negativity. Okay. <laughs> Where do we got the kids? Let's talk and about after, kids. Oh, I don't want any kids. This is the one. Uh -oh. You decide you didn't want did a super chat and says, at what point did you decide you didn't want any kids? I don't Never. necessarily know if it was a concrete discussion or situation where it was like sitting. <laughs> wait. Uh, wait, DSP? How old is Chris Chan? Big ups Oinker Bob for the super chat. It asks Dave, how do you look older than Chris Chan? Chris Chan age. How old are you, Chris Chan? He's 39. All right. I guess. Yeah, they're basically the same age down and saying all right it's time to talk about kids today i think it was just kind of a determination over time right. you know i'm about to be 40 years old and okay. personally I at least chris chan fulfilled his life's mission he found the the boyfriend free girl of his life which happened to be his mom but he did it for himself he accomplished his own mission even though that put him in jail but he did it dave never got a mission never gonna accomplish it never i don't feel that i'm in a personal <laughs> or financial situation where i would want any kids in my life i don't know if i would be a good dad i don't know if no. i want to be a good you're dad. gonna be terrible dad you can't be a good dad and be a narcissist look at fucking onision he's a scumbag dead be dad his daughter almost fucking passed away when she fell off the the window cracked her skull Come on, when you're a self-absorbed dipshit, you can't physically be a good dad. Because you have to give love and attention to that child. Dad, I'm in a point where, like, I'm I'm a, I'm a very, very busy, hardworking professional. Busy, hardworking professional. Three words, none of them true. None of them true. And yes, busy, you can be busy, but he's busy because he's fucking wasting his time all the time. Hardworking, he is not. 
Because if you're hardworking, you gradually improve at what you do. He does not improve at what he does. Debunked, right? Professional? No, professionals don't burp in the mic. Matter of fact, I probably burped five times since I started streaming. All the time it was muted, you probably didn't even know. Because I was drinking fucking energy drinks. There you go. Debunked on all three points. Look at how much time I have to put into my streams in order to make ends meet. Not a lot. Now, can you imagine if I had a kid? Not a lot. This stream takes 10 minutes to set up. His stream takes 10 minutes to set up. Like legit, I could clone his stream. The, the production value in 10 minutes. That I somehow needed to put into that equation, you know? And by the way, I'm not saying that there's not a way to do it. I'm saying that you probably have to be way more successful than me to do it, you know? I know for a fact there are big time streamers out there who have kids and they yeah. don't nearly make as much content as I do. They just Yeah, it's quantity over quality for you, DSP. That's that's your issue. That's your issue. Just, they don't have to. They're more popular, so they make less content, they make less or they Dude, make more I'm money. I'm not as pale as DSP. I'm way less pale than DSP. Come on. They on. have time to spend with their families outside of the content. It's the lighting that is like this. I need to put a better filter. I mean, I where would a time but no DSP, they release less content that is better and better produced with better production value, more fun and higher quality. So you can release a thousand videos a day if you want, and they're going to be worthless trash that gets a hundred views. And you know, you know what it is. Time be for that right now. And I've said this many times to you guys. It's good. I get one day a week okay. to spend with my family, a single okay. That's that's. That's your decision, man. Could have got five days a week free. Legit, could have. Could have been that guy. Could have recorded one video a week. Pay somebody to edit. Could have done this. You had all the chances. You will never be that guy. Because you have to beg every day. No, you don't have to make videos every day. You have to beg every day. Day. That's Not it. Even one day a week. So just think about this. 52 weeks in the year. I get to spend 52 days a year with my family. The rest of the time, I'm in this office streaming all day, every day, with a few hours a day, day with my wife and, and my cat. That's it. Not all day, though. It's objectively not all day. And I'm not even talking about it literally as all day. He spends like, what, six, seven hours there? That's like the normal amount of time people spend at work. Even more. When, you, when I used to work an eight-hour shift, I used to be at work for nine hours and then bike to work both ways for a combined hour and a half so that's what 10 and a half hours for me going to work a day that's just how it fucking is dsp that's it so can you imagine now having a trying to have a kid how the hell would that work exactly all right uh big up sinful aaron for the five dollar super chat uh phil perry does two days a week and does better than you perry is also more entertaining as as an entertainer now, oh, in particular, yeah. um, in regards to, to, you know, the big picture, at this point in my life, I don't want a kid at all. Okay. all right. Oh, by the way, that, that's a good point as well. He works at home. He doesn't have to do any commute, which many people literally just simply waste time into driving to work and back. It, that's a time you, you can't get back. That's a time that is just like spent on you getting to work. And that's how it is. And this guy's sitting here, man, I'm a tired, working, hardworking, professional guy. You're none of this. All right? Now, I'm not. The thing is, things always change in life, right? Bad. Maybe at some point in my life, later in my life, that attitude would change. As of right now, I have absolutely no desire whatsoever to be a father. Zero. What do you mean later in life? What? When you're 50? You want to try having a child when you're 50? You want to do this, Phil? Zero. Zero. Really, like n nothing. No, he's never having kids, and that's an awesome thing for for society, for the American society. This is awesome. You don't need DSP to have kids. You don't need leeches on society to have kids. You don't need that. And some people say, well, don't you want to pass you down your that. your family? No, line? they're worthless. What? Uh, pass down his gout and his bad back, and his greasy fucking hair and his patchy goatee? You want to pass that? No. Don't you want to do I don't care. <laughs> I don't. Guys, I got like 78,000 videos on YouTube of me sharing my life and my personality Absolutely with all of you on the internet. You know, and I'm not saying you're all my kids because that's kind of creepy. No, you, know, you shouldn't even be considering that it's nothing like but that. But I'm saying like my legacy is already out there to be shared okay. with the world. I don't need to imbue that into a person. 
I've been so <laughs> my legacy is out there, you guys. of me and who I am and my thought process <laughs> and my gaming. I, I I told you before this video, man. I don't want to have kids because I have a lot of YouTube videos, and this is my legacy. His legacy of forty years of existing on the planet Earth. His legacy is being an embarrassment to every society he's a part of, to every group of people he labels himself as. He's an embarrassment. This is his legacy, and this is why he shouldn't have kids. Skill and all of that, all the laughs, right? Over the all years. The laughs. Why the hell do I need a person to put that into? But that's not what this is also what he thinks of kids. Kids is something that you make and then it's like, a, is it like a YouTube video? A kid is its own entity, you dummy. It's not a copy of you. It's not a spin-off of you. That's not a kid. It's not like Yakuza like a dragon to the original Yakuza. It's not a fucking spin-off. It's a completely new being that you shape the way that you've been shaped by your parents and you raise. I've been- He doesn't even get the concept of kids. Pass on his legacy. No DSP, you shouldn't pass on anything to anybody. Because it's probably infectious and terrible tell terrible for their health. I'm here with you guys every day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot it's a very different oh my God, this is sad, situation bro. for me than most people. Yes, yeah, if you didn't have a gaming. monstrous online presence and you weren't as honest and upfront about shit. Like you were oh, a character not starting online, anytime soon. You got 36 people to that. You're just making a paycheck. Him. But I'm and here. He has, he has new animations today. Wow. We have new animations, which also means they're going to be paywalled and you're not even going to see what they are. That is beast mode gaming. To be me with you guys every day. You know, you see the real me and you understand that and you get that. Okay. okay. Um, That's passing me on to the world. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, no one knows Phil Brunel outside of his personal life. So you that's have to not, have a... but, but that's not, that's not how children work. Having a kid isn't like a marketing technique to promote yourself, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> Having kid is many, 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 many things. Many things. And I'm probably going to find out when I have a kid. But for looking after my, my younger sister, I found out that having kids is completely something fucking different from this. Having kids is raising somebody who potentially in the future when you can't live by yourself anymore, they're going to take care of you and they're going to love you in the same way that you love them as they're a child. That's the whole way. Because this motherfucker is going to get 60 and he wouldn't be able to get off his chair. Kid who you can imbue all these morals and values and ideas into and that kid can go on and be a productive Great. member of society. I've been making videos for 13 fucking years. Uh, already, there's been enough influence of <laughs> Phil Burnell on this planet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> And this is what he thinks it is. It's a marketing campaign for you. You make a kid so it represents you. <laughs> More than enough. Probably an undue amount of Phil Burnell influence on planet Earth. I don't think Phil we need Burnell any Phil influence. All right. Now, some people are saying, what about... <laughs> yeah, this dude, he, like, legit, please don't have kids. He's going to be like Onision, legit. And o Onision has an impregnation fetish. I'm sorry if you didn't want to know this, but you know this now. Oh yeah, he's he's wilder. He's way wilder than the. Your wife. That's why it pissed me off way more to watch. What about him. her? She's that's her own. I'm pers probably gonna watch him on Twitch. Personal decision, her own Hint, personal him. life, and I'm not here to talk about my wife. She can. I'm sure she has her own reasons and opinions on why you know she doesn't want to have a kid, and that's none of your business. It's not your business. Why? Because you're a terrible dad. You can't even provide for your current family. How are you supposed to provide for more family? To ask me what? about personal shit about my wife. So please don't. You have to understand. There's a line you don't cross. And you want to ask me about my personal rationale and stuff on my own stream, that's one thing. This is not my wife's stream, it's mine. Don't ask about her personal opinions and things on my stream. It's none of your business. Okay? Okay. Money, money, yeah, yeah. Money, money, oh. You're not even supposed to ask him for his wife, even though she was... A... Okay, yeah. When he wants to talk about her, it's great. But when you want to talk about her, it's not allowed. Money, money, yeah, yeah. Money, money. Money, money, yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm letting this play because we have time to kill you guys. I'm scamming you right now instead of reacting to more videos. What else do we have to react to? Uh, 
Do you, do you guys want to talk about Will Smith? No. If you were here in the beginning, the first like 15 minutes, we went over him trying to cloud chase again. Because he did, and it was bad. And now I thought about this, this new thing. Does he still upload his schedule? Oh yeah, 12 hours ago, one day ago, one day ago, two days ago, three days ago. This is what awaits you if you're subbed to DSP. And I, I personally don't really like making community posts and apologies in advance if you see any because they kind of annoy me most of the time. But this dude, every platform is this. Get that clout, every platform. And it's just text, it's not even pretty. He doesn't even go on, on, on Google and write a streamer schedule template. You can three words, three words, and you get this and you can take this and you can write out your own schedule, but he can't even do that. So this is what you get with extra begging in the end. Please note as we near the end of the month, I will be required to take off several late night streams in order to work and properly file my annual federal taxes. This by the way bullshit, you, will, you are not required to take off several late nights. You decide to do that. You're not required. You could do this shit in any of the, uh, the rest of the time. I will schedule these nights soon so there is no confusion. Thank you for understanding. So he's begging basically. Very fucking nice. As he was... Uh, he was begging in, in the tweet, actually, not in this. Because he was saying, like, you guys, I need this support. Whatever. Uh, I urge you to support as much as you can. So, yeah. He could have looked up a template. Very easy. Transparent ones. Wow, you click on the suggestion, you got transparent stuff. This is amazing. Look at this. This exists already. You can take a screenshot of this. And, and I don't know, delete the September? And just write your own schedule. This is incredible. This is incredible. The the amount of stuff we're able to do with current day technology. But no, we don't want to do any of that. Uh, notepad instead and give me money. Fantastic. That's a great fucking combo. Notepad plus give me money. And now he has new animations that are going to be paywalled. So if you want to see the $100 animation that is super special, you need to send 100 freedom bucks. Or any kind of bucks. All, all the kind of bucks are okay. They get converted in post. What else we got? Let's go over some of the some of the hype videos, the most popular ones. The Elden Ring gameplay is boring. Loses his mind. This is the oh, this is the Bills. I watched this, the Bills segment. When he, he pulled out a paper that said Bills on it. And he was like, dude, look at this paper. It says Bills. This is so cool. I gotta pay him. Then he declares war on the kiwi farts. This was great. Oh no, I watched this already. I watched this in one of the previous gimmick streams when I was watching old stuff. <laughs> Patience is running out. Snow Carl is on thin ice. Snow Carl eventually got deleted. Uh, can you send rubles? Rubles are really low in value right now, dude. Come on. Stop s sending scam currency. <laughs> DSP rants about not ranting. This is so great. Rants about ranting. Let's look up a rant in this. Control F, a rant. Uh, that was not a rant. This is 15 and minutes correct, in. that's correct, That was not a rant. That was just that was me not a rant. factually and calmly explaining the situation. Factually but idiots actually think that's a rant. Now, uh, now allow me idiots? to explain the difference. You ready? What's the difference? Someone who has a brain in their head says, okay. oh, someone on stream is actually taking time out from their stream to explain a point. What does that mean? Or to discuss something that someone asked. What? Someone who is an immature, really drama queen person, like someone who just wants to, in their head, everything is drama, would literally say that that segment of five minutes that I spent explaining is a rant. That's not a rant. Do you even understand what a rant is? Seriously, does anyone actually understand the definition of rant? What is the definition? Oh, I love this. My favorite thing about narcissists is when we gotta talk about definitions. Because definite, I hate talking about definitions. Everybody knows what a rant is. This right now is a rant. When you're passionately fucking venting about something, that's a rant. Everybody knows what a fucking rant is. And you're going to hear this with Onision as well all the time. Hey, what is the definition of this? What is the definition of that? Motherfucker, we all know what the definition of a rant is. And it, there's a 15-minute fucking video before this segment. So you're 
bet your ass is gonna be a rant. You get everything from the get go when you another streaming website. Agenda, I would, but as you guys know, I can't do that. Yikes! Yikes! Okay. Anyways. And that's correct, I heart darts. That was what not a the, rant. That was um, just me. Anyways, someone who is an immature would literally say that that segment of five minutes that yeah, I semantic definitions because with the with the narcissist the thing is that when they corner himself and i'm i don't just disclaimer i'm nobody to talk about this i don't have anything i just watch them on fucking youtube when they corner himself the we go into into meandering territory we got to talk about other stuff we got to talk about but what about when you did this thing and then we we talk about but what about the definition of this but what about this and that? And it's all over the place, all kind of derailment when they back himself into a corner. And DSP backs himself into a corner himself. Because there isn't even anybody to like challenge him or, or confront him. He backs himself into a corner and then derails himself to talk about other bullshit. So he can't prove himself wrong. This is how stupid this man is. Rant. That's not a rant. That's not Do a rant. Do you even understand what a rant is? This is Seriously, a rant right now. Does anyone actually understand the definition of rant? What's the definition of rant? Look it Here up. Here you go. Chasing Cinema Essay says, to pronounce or speak or shout at length in a wild and impassioned way. Okay. You do that shit all Did the time, Did I ever DSP. raise my voice? Was I crazily impassioned and going... <laughs> crazily impassioned now. M moving the goalpost. Extended... It's not simply impassioned. It's crazily impassioned. You know, no. It was me explaining the situation very factually, rationally, and answering a question. Of course. If you think that's a rant, you're a fucking idiot. You just are, you're you are a drama queen idiot who spins idiot. anything. But no, you you can't talk about not ranting and then call people idiots. Also ties into the point of you can't insult people and expect them to change their minds. Cuz changing somebody's mind is completely different from defeating them in an argument. Cuz you you shouldn't go into an argument to try and defeat the other fucking person. Because that will never work. You can't change somebody's mind but calling by calling him a fucking idiot. And calling them morons. And calling them fucking illegal criminals. Whatever fucking bullshit. You can't change anybody's mind. They're only gonna be more pissed at you. Because you just called them idiots. Into something for personal gain. Well, of course, I personal fucking game. Claim that something was overdramatic and dramatic and, and and full of ranting drama, and someone lost control and really lost it to talk about something on a stream. I'll get drama Is views on my video on already? YouTube. That's no. that person, right? And people are getting people deleted. Are dumb. I mean, seriously, you are people dumb. Are just to the lowest dumb. level of intelligence. How do you expect to call people the lowest level of intelligence? Oh, and he says good morning all, and and maintain some kind of relevance or anything. If you call people stuff, I just don't fucking get it, man. I just don't get it. If you like that kind of content and everything no on this planet it. is dramatic to you, you need oh, to get a He's writing life, fucking man. emails. Look at this. Oh, so he's probably, he's probably writing to wings. Probably writing to wings. Uh, 349? Yeah, 349. And tomorrow it's gonna drop even more because of the first. We don't fucking want drama, man. We don't care about that. We just want, we don't to want drama, but let's relax. talk about it we all want the time. Opposite. We don't want to create drama, yeah. intenseness, and stress. We just want to have a good time, man. Yeah, Will Smith didn't want to create any drama, man. That's why he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. It actually wasn't that much of a slap. Sit back, relax, enjoy a video kind of a game, have slap. laugh. All right, we're not ranting at all. 349. We're writing some emails, so this is going to take 10 minutes. Probably actually 10 minutes. About 10 to 20 minutes to gameplay in uh to pre-stream and 60 to 80 minutes to gameplay this is insane 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 and somebody's watching him oh man you're you're in for a treat poultry leg is watching him questioning if the uh, if the stream is gonna start or not and he doesn't have a lot of data so he's on a bandwidth yeah good luck watching fucking phil my friend good fucking luck this shit is not happening if you want to if you're watching him with like actual bandwidth this is not happening i'm sorry to, to inform you you can't do that please save your internet go fucking watch some uh some derek material if you know what i mean don't 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 bother with this this shit is not happening fucking bandwidth dude let me just put dsp chat on the screen is this this kind of a stream we gotta have all the info 
all the intel and generally everything. All right, and now I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm just waiting for the guy to actually start so you don't just look at nothing. Because I drank from like 10 separate glasses, 10 separate things, man. Uh, what else do we got? Let's see. What is in my watch later? Maybe we can watch something from then. All right, what we got? Uh, I, I had like some some green screen templates to use for some edit in the future. DSP denounces his ak ak ak. Oh, let's watch some Dark Surfer. Like that channel. Shout out Dark Surfer. Oh, he he bumped up in in subs. That's awesome. Go we'll watch Dark Surfer. Makes creative edits and also some pretty uh well researched stuff. What what's this? Fourteen dollars is not cool. Is not Dark cool. Surfer. Hashtag Whatever the Dark Surfer, go sub. Uh, I hope you guys are having fun. And have we got fun. About, like I said, another hour left on the stream. Thank you to everyone who's engaged the stream. We have over 50 people who have already liked it. We have over 200 people watching. So if you're enjoying this stream, please give it a like. My goal is 100 likes every stream for engagement purposes on YouTube. It helps this channel. Engagement purposes. But but the but the stream doesn't, doesn't stay. Engagement purposes, but I'm going to delete the stream. That sounds good, man. And it sounds like uh, not an idiot who normally wouldn't be, say, watching DSP Gaming, but maybe they're searching for said content. They're like, oh, I want some old school Street Fighter. I'll show up in search results if I have enough engagement. So please You're not like going to show in any kind of results, stream. DSP. What addition, the fuck? Please consider... You can show... Bro, DSP could be on the front page of YouTube, and people are going to click on him. See that it's this. This is his content, by the way. Oh, and I clicked on the best fucking screen. The Project 7 photo. Project 7. Uh right the, the photo you all probably know this photo with phil and rambo and howard and all the guys that died quote unquote right those dudes cropped out with a nice did you know with dark side phil text of a lifelong gamer phil has enjoyed gaming so on so forth everybody else cropped from this they are straight up deleted they don't exist huh very nice. They never happened, dude. They're debunked. Another portal. How? In any way, shape, or form, whether that be a super chat, a super sticker, a membership, or a tip. Currently, thank you, Kevin, for the the uh, super chats. You've done a, a few tonight. Um, Thanks for the super chats, yeah, but that's not gonna cut it, dude. Top tip of four dollars twenty cents. Just to step the fuck up, pay pig. You know I like doing Street Fighter. All right, fourteen dollars is not cool. All right, fourteen dollars <laughs> is not being cool. Honest here. I always I'm just do being honest. He's not being an asshole, he's being honest. Which, does that mean that he, as a person, is an asshole? Very interesting. So it'd be great if we can get some more. Remember, we have goals in effect. Gunner glasses at $50, a hat of your choice at 100 Shout out Gunner sure glasses. The rapper. I mean, tonight. Gunner. Okay, please consider it. Gunner. Especially if you like <laughs> the stuff. Did All you right. like the song by Gunner? Pushing a P? Pushing P by Gunner? <laughs> with the ER <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the seizure lights again at some point when something cringe happens right, please consider all right I'm just stretching out my hands here before I begin when you're playing Street Fighter you want to make sure your hands are loose and stretched and like I said I get the feeling I am getting carpal tunnel Ah, stretch them out as much as possible before we resume. There we go. Hmm, Nuno Group, I don't care a fuck about Tekken, so please don't even fucking I don't give a fuck about Tekken. Yeah. This is what he does after begging. After begging, this is what he does. Dude in chat, I don't give a fuck about it. Fuck off. That's like me saying to uh, King Jad in chat. Oh, you're saying $14 is not bad? I don't give a fuck what you're saying, dude. But please support. And I'm sorry for this. This wasn't legit, as you know, but still, not used to being an asshole to people. Okay. <laughs> Especially those that, that okay. are on my streams. New lobby. But I can be, though. It's fun. Uh, okay, this is with this. Come on, DSP. Stop writing fucking emails and show up to work, dipshit. Show up to work, you asshole. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna go hit the bathroom real quick. 
And when I'm back, uh, hack, hack, hack. You know what I mean? All right. Hello. Ooh. Why is the yeah, I can play your song Hello, later. Everyone. Maybe I can close off and the stream with it. I don't know. Welcome to the pre-stream podcast. All right, I'll be right back. For Thursday, watch the this last day of trash. March, the thirty-first. And big ups Brock Lobster for liking Hello. the stream. Hope you're all doing well. hands to Brock. And I hope that you're ready for some Brat. chill fun Go follow me on today. Twitch. The camera does not seem centered. Right? It looks as if at some point I bonked it. It looks like it should look more like, yeah, more like that. That looks better. I think I did bonk it at some point. Well, on the fly changes are always available here on DSP Gaming. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late starting the podcast. It begins, and what I mean by that is the work on my taxes begins already this morning. I, I had to do a bunch of stuff because tonight there's no late stream. Uh, tonight I am working on my taxes, and so this morning I had to get a bunch of stuff already pre-ready and send emails and do all this stuff behind the scenes. Um, <clears throat> but it's not just all a bunch of work. I actually got a fun new animation that has been added to the stream this morning as well. So, we haven't had any new animations really since back in January when I added the ones for Skyrim, um, which were the ones with Jasper Kitty and also Fuzro dying trolls off a cliff and stuff like that. So, we got a new one today. Um, the way that this one works, I've, I've changed it up. If you tipped me $20 today or more, anywhere between $20 and $50, all right, in one go, you'll get a new animation that will play on the stream, and I will give you a little spoiler alert. The animation is Elden Ring related. And I really like it. I mean, considering the fact that Elden Ring is going to be an ongoing playthrough at least for another month or more, it just makes sense to have an Elden Ring animation. And this one's pretty neat. Uh, I definitely like it. So, $20 or more tip. You will see the new animation here on today's hey, stream. Hey, animation now, talk. $50 or that's more. That's nice. The next category, because I don't want someone to say, oh, animation $50 talk. Tip, new animation, and then you see the old one. Fuck nice. Okay. I need to make some new oh, animations now. for me, too. We already had a $20 tip animation. Especially so like Super Chat ones. They're really boring right now. Super Chat's side of things. This is the animation where Jasper Kitty, the Khajiit, is dancing on the, the pub countertop. And I'm, I'm probably going to switch the, from there, the hat now. I always say when Jasper Let's switch the hat you got. Playing games. Um, that has been scooted over to a $25 Super Chat. Okay. At this point, we have so many categories of animations. It's very hard to keep track of what's what. I couldn't even tell you off the top the of my head. What the fuck is this guy talking what. about? But anyway, categories. Oh, that there was you go. a wet. Now you know how it's working. <laughs> that was wet, tip, wet. Up to like wet, wet, got that drip, drip. We'll See the new animation. Got and that super soak. Twenty-five dollar super chat. I think it's like twenty-five to forty or twenty-five to thirty. I don't even know. But that's the I don't even know. Okay. I don't even so know. Anyway, that's what I was doing. I don't even know. Doing. But give me the uh, fucking money to even see them today, to see what you're gonna give me money for. So here's the deal. Today, I'm only doing one stream, which is very abnormal. And right? begging. Usually, I'm here all day long, every day, double streams, two major games covered. Uh, because it's been such an insanely crazy busy gaming year early on, right? All month February <clears throat> and all month of March has literally Yeah, been he just added them. How does he not know? He just added it. Lengthy. You know, just not even a week ago, I finished Horizon Forbidden West, and that was a 40-plus hour playthrough. I'm currently playing Elden Ring, which is already like 75, I want to say. Yeah, that's on you. Finish that shit uh, faster. Come on. 74 hour playthrough. I'm not there passing this to anybody, by the uh, way. Of course, I'm continuing Stop asking for it. Skyrim only, only Shiloh, because they usually that's pass me there. 80 hour playthrough. So with all these insanely long games that I've been tackling, number one, I don't even have enough time to keep up with the playthroughs that you want. Like, people have been saying, well, when are you going to start WWE 2K22? I don't know yet. I'm so busy with the current games. And then other new games came out, like Ghost War, Tokyo, busy, man. And Kirby, and I'm playing so those. I'm such a real, other people are mature like, well, adult. You've been playing nonstop. Um, are you going to take a break anytime your ear. soon? Fucking disgusting. How can I take a break <laughs> Stop it. when I'm already backlogged? And that's what I mean. Like, this week, I absolutely have to take a few streams off to work on my taxes. I don't like doing it. I wish that I didn't have to. You know, if I was filthy, you don't have filthy to, though. rich, what oh, I would if do I was is filthy I would rich. hand over all of that responsibility. No, track your expenses, else. DSP. Say, I'll give you five grand, right? What? Take all my financial data that I from all year, and you crunch the numbers, and you send that stuff to my 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 tax guy to file it and all of that. I'm not made of money, 
So even though I pay for a tax guy to do my taxes, I have to still get all the data for him and put it together in a coherent manner. I have to explain to him what happened. Like for example, yeah, last that's year, you uh, that know, is the thing. Yeah, I having the the three tier tip is goal is is a like, is a scam basically to hide how much money he actually wants, which is 150. And then moving over to YouTube. But but also 100 is okay. YouTube than Twitch, which is confusing. You have to, you know, figure all that stuff out. So with all that being said, that's a and lot of work to do. In I the track all the income every Robustness. month, all the every month, every every in and out, every explanation. I have to basically get all this data together. Um, it takes a long time. Going yeah, through piece of piece has have has the money coming in, but not the money coming out. So for that shit, for the taxes, we can't do it possibly. It is what it is. And my uh, now I'm smoking I a cigarette. I could is what I'm supposed to say. Time all day, every day this week, I can't. It's just not possible. Okay. So what that means is that today. What you're seeing right now is the stream. We got the pre-stream podcast, and then after that, okay. a nice major stream of Elden Ring. Nice so lean in manual. Elden Ring today. Well, last time oh, around no. we finished up the. Sh How about we see what we're doing in Elden Ring when we Eden play the castle, game? Castle was it called? The Shadow Castle, something Shadow like castle. that. And it was an optional legacy dungeon. I just um, have a little segment when he talks about Elden Ring where I put the lights in in strobe lights and we listen to Chris Pan. Because I already it's actually him. better than Elden and Ring talk. That I'm seeing that it's episode a million. I mean, Elden Ring in now two. that we're seventy some hours in, um, is that the game is reusing so many assets that almost nothing feels original. Like I had done this giant, cool, unique boss fight two streams. And for the taxes stuff, it it takes him a massive amount of time, uh, because he needs to sit down and figure out what he spent money on for and how that is a business expense and everything is a business expense for dsp i really don't like them reusing the assets so much how is it i go through a cool i really don't like you reusing the segment so much optional is cool stuff in here get to the end boss you already fought somewhere else hey because for the sub uh yazi 741 and miss shark so anyway i forgot to say this but big ups you guys I'm looking forward the to more ballers. today. What are we going to do? Likely explore the Alt Altus Plateau Baller a little alert. more, because I definitely have not fully explored that thing by any means. Um, we go back to the mountain. Remember, I, I was exploring some of the mountain, but I definitely didn't finish it. We had found an optional dungeon Because Black Mage for Super Chat. Big like ups to lung cancer. Come on, these are the, the, the good ones. A grave. It was either like They're a, healthy. A They're actually a good for you. A whole, uh, apparently, it's an underground dungeon. People were like, oh, it's kind of tough. We do that. Or we go all the way back to Volcano Manor, which is actually where we had started this region, and we could go from there. I guess that's okay. also considered a legacy dungeon. How about we go... I don't know. ...to a different segment. So, I don't know. We'll see. I Basically, basically, I want to explore this whole north-northwestern part of the map. I don't want to get to the capital city yet. From what I'm going to understand, the capital city is supposed to come after all of that. So I want to do it in order. I don't want to be out of sequence and then, oh, well, you missed half the game. Go back. And I go back and it ends up being just like it was with Limgrave, where everything's easy as shit. Limgrave. Because, you know, Capital I did the harder stuff. L-I-M-B. So I'm trying to go in order, but it is what it Which is. Which stands for? A nice lean-in manual. And I hope sort that uh, you will join me. And just because I can, uh, I will deliver you know, a lean-in manual ban. It should be a good stream. It should be a good solid three hours huh? of gameplay. Okay. Um, and I'm excited for that. And I hope that you guys are too. Now, it's the only stream today. Okay. So what I would ask is the following. Ask, Maximize ask support. Favor today. $300. This is, not, this is out of my usual I'm going to ask you for so a favor. Tip me. Streams <laughs> and kind of having pressure separated between streams for me. I'm going to ask what you I'm for saying? a favor, like, you, you guys. Stream, it's a favor. Stream. It's but a today favor. I'm doing one stream. So if you want to support the channel and help me out, first of all, please engage the content today. Please like the stream that I'm streaming right now if you're watching and you're enjoying it. If you're Cut watching life. the video on demand on YouTube, please give it a like. Please leave a comment, okay? Please. When I'm playing Elden Ring, same thing. Please engage with that because when you engage with the content, Big. that's what this is showing. It's seen by a wider Big. audience and grow. And Elden Ring has Big. been the game absolutely Big. in the last month. All I see you do is Big. Tremendously Big. ever since it's Big. released, okay? Big. But Big. also, of Big. course, if you can, Little piggy, why please Big. support the channel. Big. As much as you possibly Big. can. Big. Whether that means you'd like to maybe become a member or contribute with like a super chat it's or gonna a super sticker me. or a tip, whatever it may be. Uh, all that will help. And there's only one stream today to do that during. Okay. Uh, I don't have that second stream to kind of lean on. As say, much oh, as you possibly can. Week, Please. I can make up. No, I need to try to hit my goals at all, today. If not exceed. Like, for example, I have goals <laughs> in place for every stream that I do. If today. not exceed. I want more than 300. You're on YouTube, right? You know, I'm trying to raise 
$150 in tips. Now, in a lot of ways, that's a stretch goal. I'm not realistically expecting I'm going to raise $150 on every single stream that I do. Uh, that would be pretty oh, ridiculous if I you guys. did, um, What a humble but guy. But in general, you know, I like to at least hit one or two of the tips goals every stream. Which is either $100, you know, respectively. And we get rewards in place for that. You know, I put on gunner glasses or a silly hat or whatever. But then usually I'm like, okay, well... That's how I did on the first stream, but now we got a second stream coming, and I can make kind of make up if it was a slower stream or whatever. I don't have that today, okay? Um, That's not a thing today. It doesn't exist. So, if you enjoy my content, you support my streams, you know I can't stream a second stream today, please support this particular stream. And now, now what's going to happen is somebody's going to send him $200, and he's not going to give him a shout-out until an hour into this stream. Stream as much as possible. It would be outstanding if we could exceed... Yeah, outstanding. Exceed the goals today the that goals. I usually have in place to make up for the fact that there's no second stream, that would be tremendous. But obviously, I can't control Wild. the amount of support that I get. It is absolutely crowdfunding. It is willing on your behalf. If you like the content, by all means, please support <laughs> it and understand that you're helping me out that I know I can't stream as much Help. as people can. Okay? First of all, what you can expect for the next week, a little next week, next week, next week. <clears throat> uh. And uh, in general, the games that I'll be playing for the week. Hey, big ups, um, Alex reality, Monty. I do not have much to talk for, about for the morning. major I super chat. The I life. need that There's money. Pay my bills. About stuff the that's electric about to bill. Like people are rumoring the internet bill. Giant press event big ups, baller. Very soon, but it's not here baller yet. alert. So without it being here, there's really not much to talk about. Um. <clears throat> So we'll see what happens, okay? On What's going to happen, DSP? We'll open it up to Q&A, and we'll have some fun conversations. Oh, we're going to open up to we'll Q&A. So it's going to be terrible. It'll be boring. Actually, this guy can Alrighty. make him even more enhanced. Okay. Take off all this fat. So let's talk. First of all, today, what's going on? Elden Ring fun. What is going on? I am excited for more Elden Ring. What is what going on? Why are you begging so much? Content. I'll be honest with you guys at this point. I like the Legacy Dungeons. Like when I did that like your shadow legacy castle i think that's what it was called the shadow castle wasn't it i actually liked that even though it was some some challenging stuff in there and some annoying stuff in there and it frustrated the shit out of me and i raged Not like i tend, tend to do when something happens that's beating me um i still liked it did you rage I about the bankruptcy liked that more than the open world that didn't stuff. beat like, him man. I if he overcame it the gimmick of the open world people's positivity works for like the first their money count hours. too when but you're mainly grave, positivity you realize there's all this content around you you get to Lyurnia, wow it's a lake and all these beautiful visuals you get to Kalid, and you're like whoa this looks totally different it's like demon area you're like in whoa, hell oh it's here. a demon area and it's like dsp chat it's kind of like all right well demon i kind of saw stuff like this already i mean the difference is that in the distance you can see the city right yeah. the capital city but it's kind of the same kind of deal with not much variation. The mountain, right. I'll be honest, what is it called? Mount Galid or something like that? No, what's it called? Mount... Mount what? Someone huh? just said the name of it. Uh, Mount... Um, and I, I keep forgetting the name Gil? of this mountain. Mount Gelmer. I don't know Gelmer. why I keep forgetting the name of it. Mount Gelmer. Mount Gelmer, I'll be honest, it's kind of boring. It just seems Mount like a mountain Gilid. with a bunch of troops <laughs> on it. And Gilid? random enemies <laughs> placed about. <laughs> Mount Galid and Kalid. So far, besides Super the cool. uh, Falling Star it's, Beast uh, boss that I found that was optional. <laughs> it's Lil Wayne that wrote the besides game. There doesn't seem to be much interesting Everything stuff. Everything needs to run. I kind of went through it. And, nah. I don't even know if I've covered all of it or not. There might be more. Someone had actually said, oh, there's a hidden cave down near a bridge or whatever. And I didn't find it yet. I said, I'll go back. DJ Kalid, yeah. Um, DJ Kalid, another Volcano one. Manor. People are telling me another that Volcano one. Big Manor up is like Jacob really for the sub. Some people are telling me that Volcano Manor is actually their favorite legacy style dungeon in the entire game um so i'm actually looking forward to volcano manor i don't know if we'll do that today or not i guess it really depends on the, the exploration and where it takes us um what about the invisible so stairs is, there was a cool a thing about that of really good stuff but kind of not so good stuff coming up because that with an actual better streamer for a while but then kind of wears out it's welcome you know what i'm saying um and I'm wondering, because I have no idea how much is left in the game. Besides, I know the capital city okay, is coming. Okay, here we go. But I don't know if the capital city is the finale or if there's more. The map seems to have opened up to a giant area that I can't see yet. Because Look, it this close out, like, now like It's an actual streamer. Huge northern portion of the Real map. one. I'm looking at it like, Jesus, what could be up and there? <laughs> this is Who a knows? fake no streamer. No one's really hinted at it yet in the game. Past the capital fake city. as fuck. So it's like, either the capital city is insanely ginormous, or there's something else coming up and we don't know what yet right so anyway um I'm, I'm excited for this obviously but i am hoping that the game holds up and now that we're 75 hours died. in 
it doesn't basically stutter out. <laughs> this is a cool moment. The DSP has no has moments like this. Every it's all just begging. Reused. Every boss is reused. Every location feels like the same. I hope not. I seriously hope not. Just okay. asset flip, man. Um, it's like playing a Ubisoft game. I am still game. excited for it, and I'm excited because I know this is going to last probably another month. Like, no exaggeration. We've been playing this the entire month of March, and I'm 75 hours in. If the game really right. is like 120 plus hours, that means if I'm playing it every other day, it's going to be another month. <laughs> another month of Elden Ring. Okay? So I guess we'll see. Um... And go from there. Another I'm, month again, of I'm Elden Ring, it. man. I'm not trying Another to realize that oh, I'm, I'm, I'm falling out of interest with the game. That what? couldn't be further from the truth. I really do like Elden Ring a lot. But in those but previous like said, clips, you were saying that it's like... In, in the way the game it was hype stuff, in shit. In particular, with in the world and reusing assets, it's, it's getting boring in a lot okay. of ways in that regard. So I hope that's not the case for the rest of it. Okay? <clears throat> okay. So Elden Ring today. And that's it. That's the stream. Okay. After I finish my Elden Ring stream today, I'm going to upload. I'm going to eat dinner with my wife, take a shower. I'm going to eat dinner with my wife. Three plus okay. hours tonight working on my tax stuff. Super fun, let me tell you guys. Oh, I can't wait. Tomorrow, Friday, we go back to full day of streaming. It's going to be another major session of Ghostwire Tokyo paired with a nighttime stream of uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, that should be fun. I hope that you guys will join me for that. Another full day of new game streaming. On Saturday, we're doing exactly the same thing that we're doing today. It's gonna the be saddest thing of this is that uh, he's gonna he's gonna eat with his wife and is gonna take a shower alone. Pre-stream. Do you know why? Cuck life, one hundred percent. Live the life of the cuck. Why not? I love my life. Your your, your life. Podcast, Elden Ring, and Kirby. Okay. And Kirby. Then on Monday, my final streaming day of the week, it will be Elden Ring on the first stream. And if everything went according to plan, we'll have a stream of late night Skyrim on Monday night. I hope. All right. I hope. Because I want to play Skyrim. I, you know, I only got to play it once in the last week. And I know people are like, man, you know, what's going to happen if Phil can't play Skyrim? That sucks. We Let's love these this. late night Skyrim streams. They're ch very chill. Um, and I hear you. I, w I don't want to go a whole week without Skyrim. But if I need the extra day to finish up with my tax stuff, I need it. Okay? So I'll let I you know. It over the course of the weekend how it's going i'll let you know finally when we come to a conclusion uh if i need another night or not to work on it okay uh i'm off from streaming on tuesday and then on wednesday of next week it is the big 4-0 it is my official 40th birthday and because of that the special marathon event here on dsp gaming where i'll be doing a wide variety of stuff including games all day long plus a live feasting with the king Fuck plus nice. A tasting of my birthday cake. Tasting with the wow. king. Okay. Tasting so, with the king. <clears throat> That's a nice show. And and feasting with, with the king. Said, but tasting is more of like a a bougie thing. Be involved in. First of all, I'm still trying to determine what exactly all games I'll be playing during that marathon event. The options are as follows: Game Pass games that we've Game already Pass games. played, or continuing on with the games that I have ongoing playthroughs with. So here's the pros and cons of each. If I play Game Pass games, we're likely going to be able to play some great games that are a good variety of stuff that we've already delved in, including Serious Sam 4, I Am Fish, One Piece Power Warriors 4, and likely I'll select like one more game out of there that will okay. play those four I Am games Fish, wow. Like an hour to an it's going to be so exciting. It's a good variety. But it's going to be and more exciting on this stream. I've already seen and really like. Because we're going to do okay. way more interactive stuff. The detriment to that is, like I said already, that's going to set me back on all my current. We're going to do racing. We're going to do member activity. On. You know what I'm Picked saying? By the I'm members. already backlogged on everything I'm gonna doing. Play Jackbox I'm games. Away from it. I'm going to make photoshops okay. just like I'm going to do the right now. The other option is to just play all the games that I'm already playing and just get further in them. So, for example, Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Ring. Skyrim. Of course, it won't be called Late Elden Night Ring. Skyrim anymore. It'll be like you know, just Skyrim Anniversary Edition. <laughs> uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and also um. Brain fart. Uh, Big Ops oh, Cloud's mystery for his super chat. So we'll have a, a chunk yes, of I love my life. Big Ops. During that marathon event, probably about an hour to Big an hour ups. and a half. I love my now, life. The pros of that is that I will make progress in all the games that I'm currently playing and I won't get backlogged. The cons of that is, well, yeah, it's kind of just more of what I've been doing and it won't be anything special or out of the ordinary from the stuff that I've been doing on stream every day. So it's kind of like, it doesn't seem to me that there's going hey, to what's be up, West Side? definitive, this is the correct answer. You know what I'm saying? No matter what I do, some people will be happy, some people will not. So I'm weighing and balancing all of your feedback over the course of the week. And it's kind of been split. Uh, I've definitely had people arguing for one side or the other side. 
And then, of course, you got people who don't listen at all and say they want something completely different. I'm like, too bad. It's not an option. We're either doing one or the other. So please continue to give me your feedback here on the streams. Or if you want to leave comments on my videos on demand or you want to tweet me or you want to send me an email, whatever it is, give me your feedback. I'm still weighing and balancing this. And I will come to a, con a conclusion on what I will be doing. Uh, over the course of the weekend and probably let you know by like Sunday, Monday, what exactly we'll be doing. Monday, Monday. Monday celebration on Wednesday. Okay. No polls. So that's number one. We should have a thousand okay. polls. Now, number two. Feasting with the king. Fuck yeah, yeah. feasting. What are we going to eat? You guys like feasting with the king. What's I a like Chinese? feasting with the king. What is feasting with the king? What is feasting well, with the king? Well, it's a special event. And during said event, I eat food. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Wow, what a surprise. And it's what feasting is. So anyway, what it is is I order food that usually is something that I'm not used to eating, something outside of my comfort zone of cuisine that maybe I don't have all the time, something that maybe I'd only have for a special occasion or maybe I never have. And I order a variety of things off of the menu so that we can get a good variety of stuff to try out essentially for the first time, um, you know, on stream. And it's cool because it's about an hour show we test all these things. Sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's not so good. I'll give you some examples here. Mediterranean food, I ate falafel with hummus. It was the best combination of foods I think I might have ever experienced in my life. The two flavors together <laughs> this were is insane. outstanding and just was like a, a symphony of flavor in my mouth. Robust. Robust. Like nice. Yeah, they Flip do. That, they I say it all the time, and it kind of means nothing. I did not like much of it. Now, it could have just been that it took forever to get here, and some of the fish and stuff that I ordered was cold same time not that meant much of it had too much good flavor that i like so it could go either way and people like it either way because it's kind of an experiment okay so the options available but she's gonna complain about the delivery guy again thai food he kind of has Vietnamese to. food and barbecue now think about this for a second thai food noodle dishes like pad thai fish dishes once one time a very long time ago i got a big fish at a Thai restaurant, it looked like I was like, how am I going to eat this? And I started eating it, and the scales and the fish just came right off the bone, melt in your mouth, delicious. I was like, it's so good. So Thai food can be really good, but also Thai food can be very spicy. Ooh, very spicy. Careful. Vietnamese food. I mean, everyone knows pho or pho or pho, however you say it. It's their noodle soup that's ridiculously good. Usually has tons of great ingredients in it. I absolutely love it. I've only had it like two or three times in my entire life, but every time I've had it, I thought it was outstanding. One thing I've never had from Vietnamese cuisine is banh mi. This is their gourmet sandwiches that they make, and they make them all different ways. But I've heard so many good things about banh mi that I'd love to try it. Um, and then, of course, barbecue. Let's be honest here. Barbecue encompasses a ton of stuff. You could get good barbecue chicken, barbecue ribs, you know, different kinds of, of beef, you know, brisket. Uh, pull, pulled pork, stuff like that. She's dreaming a right now. This is a sick fantasy of, of course, eating. If you order barbecue food. food, one of the signature things about it is the sides they provide. Oh, man, corn or creamed corn or corn on the cob or mac and cheese or beans or mashed potatoes, cornbread. Oh, man, that is American comfort food at its finest, right? So I'm look, thinking of all these, these options in my head. I'm like, dude, I would love any of these. Seriously, like any of those three cuisines likely would end up being really good. So this is what uh, Wings' what's brain is, is like. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is how Wings' brain works. You guys. It's just this are all be able the time. To vote on what cuisine I'm going to try on my birthday celebration. By what cuisine I'm going to try? On the community <laughs> cuisine. Tab SP Gaming in just a couple of days. In fact, I'm thinking I'll probably post it's a cuisine, it up you guys. It's either not tomorrow food. or Saturday. And then you guys will have a couple days to vote and determine the cuisine so that Wednesday morning when the marathon starts, we can order together. Okay? Sound good? I'm gonna be making a thumbnail. You can see this on your screen. I'm gonna be making a thumbnail of feasting cool. with a king. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Just because, so, so you can said, have guys, something to watch while this guy's rambling. It's gonna be a special event coming up. I'm very excited for it. Um, so I hope that you guys are, are pumped. And we'll have more information, as I said, as we get closer, the poll and everything. And I'll, I'll weigh and balance your feedback on the games and we'll, we'll determine all that soon. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Something else that's gonna happen very shortly, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, secret reveal. as you know, this channel has seen some big growth in the last month to two months because of all the new releases that have come out, and I knew this would happen. I told you guys, we're going to see okay. more engagement. We're going to see member goal? higher views. We're going to see newcomers coming to the stream and subscribing for goal. the first time. That absolutely has happened. From Per my stats that I check here on the YouTube app every day, and every day I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the analytics and everything. 
All right. This channel has been doing really good. Big ups your boy for a super chat. Two months. Up, look at this. Uh, barbecue up, up, is about up. religion. Memphis, and Charleston, Austin. So what is he talking up, about? Up, up, Man wishes he was smarter, than he, he he smarter than he is. He thinks that he's smarter than he is. That's that's better, his big right? problem. Um, I'm very pleased with how everything has gone over the last month, and you guys have been very supportive. The one area. Members. <laughs> okay. We're gonna beg the for members. You know. Area. You know that. You know that. That sadly things did not get better. The fuck. Is the memberships. I think everyone's going to agree there. We've seen these memberships go down and down. And there's not much I can do about that. I have tried my best to offer you guys different things in regards to the memberships. What the about only, exclusive like content, though? The only way that memberships really get popular on YouTube, <clears throat> as opposed to subscriptions on Twitch, where on Twitch they offer all these other benefits that you can't get with the memberships on YouTube. For example, when you subscribe to a channel on Twitch, you can use those emotes from that channel anywhere on Twitch, anyone else's channel. When you subscribe on Twitch, depending on how long you've been a subscriber and the tier you subscribe, you can get exclusive emotes unlocked just for you. That kind of stuff is not available here on YouTube, okay? Oh, it's this. It's, it's not it's exclusive content. Product, it's, but it's, it's not equally comparable. Twitch. Because of that, my, my memberships here discounted. Sucks, it's actually bro. cheaper to become a member here on YouTube than, I, than it was charged over on Twitch. But there's not much else I can do, all right? <clears throat> it really seems to me that in regards to memberships on YouTube... YouTube catered them towards people who make on-demand content. So, oh, an exclusive because video YouTube is an on-demand content platform, you dummy. And everyone else gets to see it two days later. So but I don't do that. I'm doing on-demand video content of ongoing playthroughs. I'm a full-time streamer. I don't have opportunity to offer you guys that kind of a product. Uh, you okay? do though. So, <clears throat> in regards to this, for the month of April, I am going to do something outside of my comfort zone that I've never done before and I'm going to offer you something as a reward if we hit a Oh, we're doing goal this. Yeah. That is unprecedented. We're doing this. It's a thing okay? now. Seriously. This is something that Get never before has this. been done. It's been asked of me. This is the secret re reveal it. you guys are ready for this. And so I'm curious how people will react and I'm curious if this would be something that would give people incentive to become a member of DSP Gaming. And if this works, if this ends up being something that, oh, we like this idea, maybe I'll keep doing it every month. Every month we'll have a member goal, try to grow the members, and we do another thing, another thing. We'll see. But I'm not revealing what it is until I'm ready. At the earliest, it will be tomorrow. And I'm thinking maybe tomorrow's pre-stream podcast could be the big day where I, I do the reveal. Oh, the big day tomorrow. Exactly it is, I'm thinking. Um, But yes, I know I'm teasing you. Absolutely, I'm teasing you guys. <laughs> Yeah, of course. It's all tease and no tease action. It's, it's called anticipation. It's called suspense. It's called building interest because you're wondering what could it be? What could it be? Is it going to be something good? Called business. Some of you probably won't care about it at all, and others will absolutely love it, just like everything, right? That's how it is. You can only please all of the people some of the time. You can't please everyone all the time because everyone has different tastes and they're looking for different things. And I feel like I've reached, I have reached the wall when it comes to memberships doing it a certain way. So now we're gonna go in a different direction. So we're gonna have yes. exclusive content. Okay. That's uh Yeah. Don't tell anyone about Logan Paul being on the stream tomorrow. All right. Don't spoil What? <laughs> Don't spoil. All it's right. Hilarity. Anyway, I'm just kidding, of course. Hilarity and anyway, Um so maybe tomorrow I'll we're reveal it. We'll funny see. Today. We're feeling it, funny. I have to make some preparations. But yeah, we'll he's talking see, to Wings. I'll, I'll it's gonna be the Wings podcast not, thing. Uh starting tomorrow. Big up Squarever we'll called see. it. But anyway, since tomorrow is April 1st, wait, it is? It is. Tomorrow is April 1st, okay? Wait a minute. Tomorrow's April Fool's. Ah, shit. I didn't even think about I seriously didn't even think about this, that tomorrow's April Fool's. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> so, so what? <laughs> tomorrow's He's April Fool's. He's not ready for his April Fool's thing? Anyway. Um, all right, now I really got to think about this. Anyway, we'll see. But maybe tomorrow I will do the, the reveal of what this new goal will be and we'll go from there. By the way, as I said yesterday, the goal will not change. The goal for the month of April will be to hit 400 members. Okay? That's Are you not for real? In any way, shape, or form. Really? The difference here is that, that is, uh, you know, I need to get the back up. We were at 391. Yeah. And over the course of it March, was socks. we lost like 50 just socks member pure socks because i couldn't really offer any unique or interesting incentive because youtube doesn't give me the tools to do so that's disappointing so anyway um 
I will. I'll let you know as soon as I can. All right. All right. Uh, outside of that, guys, I'm just trying to think odds and ends wise here. Uh, not much else. So to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the stream. Oh, we're we going to recap the beginning of the stream. Today. If you tip between $20 all the way up to $49 in one go, not only will I blow my horn because I told you guys I will blow my birthday horn for every large contribution that I get during this week, but there's a new animation that will play on the stream, and that animation is Elden Ring related. So it'll be cool to see the Elden Ring animation. Now, warning, if you tip $50 or more, it's going to go to the next tier of animation. So I want to forewarn everyone because someone's, oh, I specifically want to see this new animation. You probably don't want to tip 50 or more because then you're going to see a different one, okay? <clears throat> okay. All right. Um. So let's do shout-outs. Let's just go right into shout-outs. We have time for it. Let's do it. Let's jump in here. So on the YouTube side of things, contributions start off today with OK, who did a super chat and says, Hey, hope you're well, man. I'm wondering if you've been to Mount Gelmer yet in Elden Ring. We did. So here's how it happened. I entered the Altus Plateau, and immediately that NPC woman who I had met in Lyurnia's Lake said, Oh, we did that quest for me down there. Let's just take you right to Volcano Manor and teleported me there. Now, I'm at Volcano Manor. I'm like, wait a minute. So I skipped the Altus Plateau, and there may even be stuff between Altus Plateau and Volcano Manor. So I left the manor, not knowing really what I was doing. I started riding down a road. I ended up finding a golden ne uh, golden needle. Oh, my God. I ended up finding a golden seed. I ended up finding the map for the area. And it ends up that it shows kind of Mount Gelmer. And I was like, oh, okay. So I started riding around and fighting things. I fought instead of an Erdtree avatar, there's none because the, Ur the Erdtree is dead. So instead, you're fighting this, this uh, you know corrupted tree piece or whatever which i fought like 17 times in this game already it was another one um i just kept exploring exploring eventually i got to this part people were like you gotta keep climbing you'll find an optional boss and i fought the falling star beast and that's really where mount gelmer ended for me because then i was like all right let's go back to the altus plateau which i had completely skipped and that was basically last stream where i explored altus plateau stuff we went all the way north well first we went to a lake and we did stuff in a lake how long was i muted for the, the, this fucking the shadow sucks. castle and anyways stuff like that or shaded watch this is it a shaded castle or shadow castle I keep getting it confused so that was the last few uh the last few streams okay um so i've been to gelmer but i haven't thoroughly thoroughly explored it i spent maybe like an hour to an hour and a half in it and then i kind of got distracted and left so there you go thank you for the super chat okay Zoya did a super chat says like Mario playing Kirby despite the unpopular. Stop making fun yeah, of me. This is not funny. I'm suffering. I knew, every time I this play is a game suffering. Like this, first party Nintendo. Oh, that's one strike against it because everyone says first party Nintendo games are kitty games. All right. Yeah, Chill the toxic stream. thing doesn't oh, look that good. That, no that challenge. Looks like trash. Phil's never going to die. We don't. We don't get to see Phil suffer and scream and rage. Oh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Phil that, suffer. That's what we're here for. Like to see Phil suffer. Why people who watch something like Elden Ring would not oh, attend that stream. We're having However, this, this fucking segment I'm again. I am a variety streamer. And being a variety streamer, I enjoy playing a wide variety of games rather than the same style of game over and over. March was kind of an exception where the daytime streams were primarily Elden Ring. Okay. But now I'm doing a good variety of stuff. I'm mixing in other kinds of games again. I'm really happy that Kirby has made the mix. Why? Because in my opinion, now I've been yeah. playing Kirby for about three streams. After six hours, I would say Kirby's not only is it the best Kirby game I feel like I've ever played. And I've, I haven't played all of them for sure. I played Epic Yarn and I played Rainbow Curse. I know there was another one I played in there at one point, like Return to Dreamland or something like that. I think it's not only the best one that I've played, but it's basically the best platformer I've played in like five years. And I'm, t I'm being honest, just played it for six hours. I like the game better than Ratchet. But now he's going to bitch that already. people didn't show up. Um, it's less repetitive. It's exactly what's going to happen Ratchet right now. He's setting himself up for bitching. Over and over. This game, it's now different. it's going to be... Yeah, man. I enjoyed it so much. It was so amazing, but nobody showed up. What? Huh? Ratchet Clank got boring after a few hours. And then he's going to like... I love my life. Right? Oh, this so is the fucking... So I'm happy that it's actually more variety. Yeah, see, Joshua says, what about Psychonauts? I would say Psychonauts 2... Kirby and the and the Forgotten Land are the two best platformers of like the last five plus years for, by far. They've beaten everything, Ma and maybe Super Mario Odyssey is up there too. Those three, that's it. Like anything else that came out, they don't even hold a candle to these games. And I'm happy to be playing a game. This I can't believe the the the, the quality oh, of the game, fake. the music. In this kind of music in a Kirby game is like, what happened? How did they, <laughs> how'd they get the budget for this? Because the music's ridiculously the budget good. for this. Like, wow, the music's like over the top, crazy, catchy, and interesting and fun. Okay. 
like I said, the only downfall of this game is quite literally it's on the Nintendo Switch. If it wasn't on the He's Nintendo talking Switch, about it would why people like, aren't showing up to not. his fucking the are good, game. But man, the frame rate chops up. He's being in denial about being boring. That's all that's happening right now. They done all that is happening. Visual fidelity, lighting, and everything. It's li very limited literally that itself. kind of segment. Outside of that, oh, though, the graphics are very not good. First and of all, the graphics I'm happy suck. That you guys who are Thanks. attending the Kirby streams are having a good time and supporting the stream. Hey, there we go. I'll be honest. I'll Last be honest. Night, okay. It's basically there we go. one guy. This is what he set himself up for. Today. All right. So I gotta say this. I don't feel good about begging that person possibly feeling pressured to support those streams. The what? The time and he shouldn't feel that way. So you guys, if you like the Kirby stuff, please support it. Whether you're watching it on demand or you happen to be on the streams. Please find a way to support the Kirby stream. So Please that way, find a way support. I feel what? bad that he got one guy and he's sitting Massive there. begging. Massive and, begging. You know, basically tipping all night and everyone else is kind of enjoying, you know. It would be great it's if we like get some shit, other man. I hate making it this live. If possible. And again, I'm not pressuring anyone. I'm saying. If you I'm not pressuring like, anyone. You actually can't pressure right anyone. Saying, We're having a great time with the Kirby playthrough. Please support it. And by the way, if you're watching on demand, you don't have to do a live stream tip. You could pledge to my Patreon. You could do an offline tip. <laughs> He's asking people for money. Offline. On the uh, fucking on demand. Tip. This is to support the Kirby stream, Phil. Here you go. Okay? Hey, big ups. You. But anyway. <laughs> you can do it yeah, behind the I scenes. I love Kirby. I think it's an outstanding game. And even though, yeah, when I play it, I get like 200 people of that. And yes, the support is That's slow. That's shitty numbers, BSP. Come on. I'm not going to give up on a game because, you know, it's not getting that. You've been doing this your whole life. Or anything like it's that. It's all been building up okay. to this. <clears throat> okay. So I also did another super chat and says... What night will you be off for birthday, dinner, day out? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, I have the day off with my wife, and we're going to spend it together. And then the next week, we may do something for our anniversary, because our, actually our anniversary is only a few days after my birthday. And uh, we're not going to be able to get that specific day off, but maybe whenever our next day off is, Monday or Tuesday, the next week, we're going to probably do something for our anniversary. So... Uh, Review Tech USA is here. You did a $10. Hey, he's here. Cap. Big ups. I'm getting brutally fisted in Elden Ring. What? But I love the game, and that's something All I right. respect. All right, big ups, Review well, Tech USA. Cuck life. I mean, there's different ways to play the game. I don't know if playing your ass first is really the best approach. This guy approach. sucks ass. Maybe for some, because it depends on, uh, you know, your armor stats or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, well, we're talking no, about I, Elden I Ring again. Saying, <clears throat> I love I this. a lot of people... This has been their reaction to the game is that it's incredibly difficult, but because the game is open world and you can go around and do so many different things, you're not stuck doing one thing and hitting the wall, which is how it always was in FromSoft games. Oh, well, DSP's I career. Boss, I can't beat it. I guess I'm done. <laughs> and, and then you beg. not the approach in Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, oh, I can't beat it. I'll leave. I'll go do a bunch of other stuff and come back later when I'm leveled up more. Maybe I'll be able to tackle this boss. Yeah, I'm sure Blue Tech now, USA right? really is, is paying attention right now Although to this segment. The game's now been out over a month and the social media posts about it have kind of dried up. At yeah, because people beat it already. Murgit and Godric the Grafted. Yes. And then it was about... And you complained you didn't get it. You didn't get the memes, DSP. Out about Radon, and then all of a sudden... You didn't Rick get the memes. And I got a feeling I know why. People can't people can't keep going. They're dead. They can't they can't keep going. They're, they've hit the wall. When you, they you beat know, the game. 12 million people bought this game. Okay. Out of the 12 million people who bought the game, how many are actually going to beat it? Like it's a good five. question. How many people are going to hit out walls? It's acting like, like you're you're I, beating I cancer or something. No, it's a video it. oh, by game. By the way, here's the new animation. Hey, here's the new animation. What here's is it? Here's the new tip animation for twenty dollars or more between twenty and forty nine dollars. There you go. The Elden Ring. Are you legit? Pose, thank you, animation. This looks like trash. <laughs> this is terrible. Very nice. This fucking but Elden anyway, Ring with text um, on it. That's the point I'm making is, this I is think suck. what happened is most people who are more casual players who've never this really played suck. FromSoft before, or maybe they did it and got beat by other games like Sekiro and the like, they've jumped into this one, all right, and they can't get any further. So they were part of that whole feeling of oh i'm part of a big cultural event in gaming and now they're like well shit well i was at least i was part of it for a month but i guess i'm not getting any further <laughs> you know um what i'm happy to hear is that it sounds like you are still making progress rich and as long as you're enjoying yourself that's the thing this game hey we're being positive to what they're USA doing today. is about 120 hours long if you must be it. one of those if days you don't know what you're doing and it's your first major souls game i can imagine this game taking hundreds and hundreds of hours because you're going to be grinding to level and do stuff and you're going to die a lot right so if you approach it like that this is a game that you're going to play over the course of months and months 
probably going to be a, a, an interesting experience. I'm curious to hear your experience another month in, you know, and see if you still <laughs> like it as much. Anyway, thank you, Rich, for the super chat. Okay, did thank another you, super Rich, chat. Mexican super food, chat. birria tacos. We already did Mexican food last time around, incidentally. That was in January. Or was it early February? I think it might have been like the first week of February. And we did uh, a lot of different things. We did carne asado. Uh, we actually did this unique thing. I forgot what the name of it is, so forgive me. But it was this pepper that was stuffed, battered, and fried, and then covered in sauce and cheese. I had never had anything like that All before right. in my life. I thought it was pretty good. I actually wished it was a little bit more spicy. Um, but it was unique. It was spicy. Different. That's the thing. When I get this stuff, I it try to do things spicy. in a unique way. I, oh, here's one I've never had before. I'm trying it for the first time so I can give you my honest feedback on what I think about it. So, But yeah, we already did Mexican food. <clears throat> um, Snow Cooper did a super chat. He says, I've been a no fan for a Cooper. while. I feel like you aren't playing Halo ranked because I keep on asking. Come on, get railed here. Getting get railed? railed? Snow Cooper, I haven't played Halo in about two months. As I told you, Halo Infinite got incredibly boring for me because there was nothing else to do in the game. I had basically played every map, right? Was doing good on every map. Every time I was playing, I was doing pretty darn good. Um, the ranked gameplay was, was the worst. And in fact, there's a consensus on the internet at one point. The ranked gameplay was the worst in the game because so few people were playing ranked that you would search and find people who have bad connections to you and you were forced to play against them. So you were playing in lag. Everything in, in ranked had bad hit detection and delay because so few people were playing that mode. It's supposed to be the epitome of the game, the highest skill level, and it literally was the worst scrubby gameplay because everything was so lagged out. So then everyone went to the casual modes, and the casual modes got boring because there's nothing to do in them. It's the same gameplay. They're not adding anything new. Here we are. We're about to hit April. They're claiming Season 2 will not even happen till May. The game is dead. People are trying to play dead it right now. Yet. And they can't find anyone to play outside of big team battles. They can't even find a match. Someone said, yeah, Team Fiesta. I'm trying to earn the armor pieces. I literally sit there for 20 minutes before I find a match. Like, what? Am I, this is atrociously bad. What happened to the number one ranked FPS game? It tanked. They, they destroyed it. They literally did. They had the number one game in the world for first-person shooters. And they botched it by not putting out content for it. Uh, again, I almost feel... Like, this is going to end up being a documentary a few years down the line. The oh, saga all this of Halo nonsense. Infinite. How the launch was again? botched. How nope. the game was Big botched up. when it was uh, popular. You, seriously, I, can, I can't. I would love to hear what's going on behind the scenes over at 343 Industries and what's going on that they cannot You're make probably this getting sexually new harassed content. like everybody and else in the industry. Manner, no one likes it anymore. Everyone's moved on. Which is bad and should stop. I'm looking at so you, you Ubisoft. So thank and you, uh, Epic uh, Games. So, so and Cooper Blizzard the especially. Super Chatter. Let's get Snow Cooper on the leaderboard, then we'll head over to the tip side of things. And there goes the decoration thing. Smashed it right to the floor. Oh, come on. Good thing it's durable. Treat those with respect. They're a part of the festivity. Okay, so that is the YouTube side of contributions. Let's flop over to flop the other one. To the tip style contributions the tips and we start off today with some tips from slayer again slayer's gonna update us slayer on his again. progress in elden okay, ring he's gonna update us on his progress do we give a shit about slayer's fucking progress <laughs> okay like one in chat playing. for no um, and two in chat for yes excuse me so slayer tip the dollar 50 says here's an update on elden ring i finished the whole southern part of limgrave good there's a lot of valuable items there like all those sacred tears and stuff you need those they're very important I defeated the Erdtree Avatar and the Mord Castle. Yay, Erdtree Avatar. Good. Big up A good Slayer. starter weapon, fucking depending pay on your build, could be uh, that we weapon you get for? at Mord Castle. The giant sword that looks like it's a bunch of other swords combined, kind of like the Game of Thrones throne. But if I remember correctly, you said that you were doing... You were trying to do a build for the Golden Halberd, right? Uh, I mean, that is strength. It's strength and faith. Anyway. Defeated the Crucible Knight within an hour. Wow. Well, congratulations wow. to you. You kicked its ass. Then I took two plus hours and i couldn't beat him with my current build at that time um okay another tip from slayer my so I current, used the sword. with my oh, current I build the at the time really in my playthrough as well great bleed damage he says i defeated the crucible knight with it once you learn his pattern it's not that hard to defeat him i'm currently at level 35 and two levels in faith from using the golden halberd i'm currently about to explore east Limgrave. all right so good on you uh snow uh i almost said snow cooper uh slayer so just so you know once you get the golden halberd Basically, your gameplay style will change because the Golden Halberd is very different from using a sword and it does very big holy damage. Its buff ability is quite good to use in combat. 
and man, its jumping heavy attack is ridiculously good. Oh, jumping um, heavy, DSP loves however, jumping heavy. Lean in manual however, jump in heavy every day. Later in the game, there will be much better weapons that have a, a faith build. I can tell you that because I'm using a couple of them right now that are really good. And I think that the Golden Halberd is probably not as good anymore because I found these other weapons. But the Golden Halberd, I used it for a while. So I think you'll enjoy it. Mm. Okay, thank you, Slayer, for the tips and the update on your progress. Phillips Smelly Chair. <laughs> Great name. Phillips Smelly Chair, he's back. To he's me $2 back. and says, you're thinking about the game wrong. No reason to explore everything before doing new areas. Yes, there is. It's called playing the game. I don't understand this weird mentality. Oh, another mentality. $20 tip. Look at that. The this is mentality. Thank you, Dan the Man, for that one. Hey, I'm big ups. You get to see this shit again. Right now. So anyway, uh, I don't understand this weird mentality of people yeah, who are saying, look at how cool if you this explore is. everything this in the weird game, you're mentality? overlooked, therefore you should, you should not do that. So let me get this straight. For stalling purposes, for that's why you do it. And purposely skip content Bro, you can do anything you want. The That's the this, what's this weird mentality play. of trying to Skip fucking purposefully. tell people what so to do? You can, you can do anything you want. You can buy the I game, not buy the game. Second, you can play right? it all day, or you can play it never. That's like saying, if you were playing Super Mario... And shit collapses. Shout out to Collapse. Uh, this is a professional streamer, by the way. Professional work ethic, whatever he mentioned earlier. That was like that. that Let's guy. imagine this is this that guy. Super Mario Brothers. Everyone knows that game, right? The game has warp zones where you can skip entire levels. Correct? Correct. Does the game have correct. a leveling system like the, like Elden Ring does? No, it does not. Imagine that it did. Imagine that if you played every level in Super Mario Brothers from start to finish, you gain experience points. Mario has higher jumps, runs faster, better fireballs, right? If you play through the game. So if you play every stage from start to finish, by the end of the game, you've got a build. So when you get to the final challenge of the final dungeon and the final Bowser, it's not as difficult if you've played all the content of the game. Now imagine if that game doesn't have any of that leveling system, which is exactly how it is today, all right? And you can skip all around. You can warp all around the game, right? Okay, great. But if you warp right to the end of the game, guess what? You're a weakling. Now it's hard as shit to beat. You're a weakling. Because you gotta jump over the fire. You don't have fireballs to throw at Bowser. You don't have anything. You're basically a little wimpy dude, and you're trying to rush through the game and beat it as quick as possible by, by either exploits or maybe just being very nimble, right? Am I saying that either, either, either way to play the game is wrong? No, I'm not, actually. In fact, I would argue that either way is correct. It's up to but you, you to just, determine how you want to play But you just were talking about fucking Elden Ring but people. It's not up what? to you to determine how others should play the game. It is a single player game. Understand? Single player. Not multiplayer, not competitive experience. When people are playing Elden Ring, they're not saying, well, my run is going to be the absolute best run ever on the internet. Ultra challenge, super entertaining and all of that. All right? Allow me to... Get out of here. Now was also muted again. Elaboration on that. All right? I have watched three separate people playing through Elden Ring, okay? Three. Out of those three people who are playing Elden Ring, all of which are popular what content... What are their names? They have names? Not a single one of them has had their viewing audience tell them, you're playing it wrong. And because they boring. are fun. And one of them, actually, I'll tell you, I think the playthrough is fucking boring. The person Wings? has basically been using the same weapon since the start and hasn't mixed it up. They're using okay. exactly the same gameplay style the entire game to beat every boss and every challenge, and none of their viewing audience is complaining. Because the, it, you prove to yourself that it's because they are more fucking fun, you loser. They're okay with it. They <laughs> also, understand. the thumbnail is, is almost done. Look at uh, it. Uh, it's kind of working out. In future it's challenge working ones, out. if that's what you want, then you can have these, these criteria of, oh, don't do all the content. Rush through with this particular build or this weapon. Challenge yourself. No one is having this kind of problem where everyone is going to complain and whine at them. You want to know who's having the problem? Me. You want to know why? Because I have a, a toxic bitch. group of viewers, not all of them. A toxic, group, a toxic group, of group of viewers. toxic group of viewers who come to my content when they watch me play challenging games, and they just want to see me fail. I don't care about you. You want to chase them away? Sorry, I don't. You oh, guys, you're such a loser, be very DSP. honest with you. 
don't support or contribute Bruh. this channel in any way, shape, or form. You only come around when I'm gonna play a game where you know guys that never lot, give money. All you do is and make just fun watch of me, the and then fail. You go to detractor channels and you watch. Well, he the is so mad. I don't care about you. You mean nothing to me. This is the romance cat to guy. That's what he does. Audience. I'm here to have a genuine first time experience with Elden Ring. And if you don't like it, <laughs> guy I don't care. Because I'm not here to cater to your every whim. These little whiny self entitled people on the internet who demand sissies. things. I'm not here for you. I'm not. And I never was. And I never will be. But you beg for You're tips every day. You're you there for everybody. The You're like everybody's else. bitch. But don't think I'm going you to have change to beg. my approach and my enjoyment of the game because you want to see me suffer. This game has a ridiculous amount of content in it. And I'm going to enjoy it. He's going to ruin his own playthrough on purpose. Why shouldn't I enjoy the game? Ruin his own right? playthrough. Is it my fault that From Software chose to put a ridiculous amount of content mid-game? Including Altus Plateau, Mount Gelmid. Is it Gelmid? Gelmer? Mount Gelmer, Volcano Manor. All before the capital. If it was the case that they wanted it to be difficult all through, you should have went Limgra or excuse me, Limgrave, Liernia, Capital. Okay. That would have been fucking right. tough. I'm gonna Seriously. write this down. But instead, okay. they put I'm gonna send Caleb, this to FromSoft. All the underground from software at hotmail.com. The, the hidden cities. The, I'm gonna the, send the it Rot Lake, right there. All that shit. Then they put in Mount well, Gelmer, the volcano man. It's all in there for a reason. To enjoy the content of the game. If you're naturally playing through all the content of the game and you end up being over leveled for late game, I didn't make it. Go complain to the people whose butts you suck constantly. <laughs> yeah, say, Phil hey, Miyazaki. Up. This Dave game Miyazaki. Scale. This game shouldn't have set levels for the enemies. It should scale so when you approach a new area... Now the final piece of, of the Photoshop. Now, oh, I played your side content or your other content, and now everything's meaningless because I'm level 700 by the time that I reach a part that I'm supposed to be level 100 for. I didn't make the game. If you don't like it, go complain to From Software and stop bitching to me. Go complain I to From Software. Don't care. Thank you. This guy sucks <laughs> so now, much. Philip Smelly Chair did another two dollar tip and says, "For context, you're already near the level people say you should beat the story at before it comes becomes too easy." I'm not trying to be one of those people complaining about how strong you are, but there's a point where you're you're gonna turn every boss into your Radon. Well, guess what? I didn't make the fucking game. Oh, if you have mega an toxic! Issue with the way the game was designed. Mega go toxic. Complain Let's complain to From Software. <laughs> I can't make the and game. And this is why they complain. That because the other streamers don't have a segment like this. Issue. This is why you will never get the positivity, ever. But I'm going to enjoy ever. all the content of the game because I fucking paid for it. How can I even legitimately rate this game? This guy now cares about paying for stuff and getting the to benefits. Make it challenging. That doesn't even make sense. So I rate the game, but I don't even know what half of it is because I rushed through it. Like, which it's not even a logical suggestion. It's something stupid. It really is. If, again, you want to see the Ultra Challenge, go watch the speedrunners. Go watch the level one build okay. players. Go watch Bye. the people who say, I'm going to dual wheel torches for the whole game. Then you can go see that level of challenge. That's not even the core demographic of the game this time around. Why do you think they made it open world? Why do you think they put this much content in it? So that it's accessible to everyone, not just speedrunners, not just challenge runners. People can enjoy it in that way, but that's not how the game was designed. If you have a problem with it, complain to the people who made it, not the people playing it. You're <laughs> at the wrong place. This being such okay. a bitch for nothing. For no reason. Jad F, Jad F excuse me. Timmy a dollar fifty and says, couple of news. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide a sci-fi version of Vermintide releases the 13th of Bro, September. He doesn't give a shit about this by fucking Studios Warhammer. You have it in Game Pass. Last of System Shock 1 Remake is done, soon to be released. Okay. Uh, out of okay. all of that, I Nothing. don't know Wild West I don't is, care. I care. Is it Weird, weird West? I don't know. Never heard weird of it. Weird West. Um, I don't really play Warhammer games. The Vermintide game that I played I thought was okay. And said maybe I would go back to it someday, but there doesn't seem to be interest. No one's really asked for it. Maybe System Shock 1 I'd be interested in. I never played the System Shock series, and that's always been a, 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 a series I've heard about that people have really loved it over the years, way back when, when it was popular, you know, in the 90s or whatever. So maybe I would play that. So thank you for those. Thank you for that little bit of info. Lord Shiogarath has tipped me twelve dollars and eighty-three cents. I don't know what the significance of that specific amount is, but he says, "What's your middle name?" Reminding you about you know what? Paul. Um, Paul. Paul. My middle name is Paul. And in regards to you know what, we've already talked about it. And the way I said it was, 
the more you bring it up, the less uh, likely anything is to happen. So stop bringing it up. What are we okay. talking about then? Um, what? Kirby Not has tipped me $25 and says, this What is, is the you know what? For only your Kirby stream. I don't know don't what. Don't dare count this towards the stream tips goal. I don't really know what. I mean, if you're really serious about that, I won't count it towards the stream tips goal. Um, but I appreciate that towards the Kirby stream because the Kirby streams absolutely need support. They do. So oh yeah, I'm not gonna much. count it against I've this the been tips asked goal. Not to count this towards the stream tips goal, so I guess I won't. What a fucking scumbag! But, Kirby I was a but he wants tip, to exceed that. exceed two stream stream okay. goals today. Alice, he wants three hundred. He tipped a dollar fifty. This not gonna says, count. This one not gonna main. count. I'm loving this build. I started playing because of you. The only thing is that I'm having trouble keeping track of the side quest missions. There's so much that I feel no matter what I do, I'm missing out. With a game like this, and this is no exaggeration. All right, no exaggeration. No exaggeration. He's about to exaggerate Absolutely. wildly. Should be using a guide for the side content. You should. You shouldn't rely that you're gonna just naturally find okay, it all. Okay, that's not. That's not an exaggeration. I lied. Game. It's insanely cryptic. Nine times out of ten, you will not be able to track down the quest line. I already know that I missed two different quest lines because I've, like I said, I've been watching other people play it, and other people ran into these quest lines that I didn't. And I was like, oh shit, those two quest lines I totally missed. Now the good news is. Usually they didn't give me anything. One quest line was a sorcery item, and another quest line was for a guy who I guess later on ended up dead anyway in my playthrough and it didn't matter. So it's not a huge deal that I missed the quest line. Still, would have been nice to do all the quests, right? So I would absolutely recommend if you are trying to do all the quest lines, use a guide. I don't need that. I'm lucky enough to have an interactive audience, and that audience talks with me during every stream and says, hey, Phil, here's where you go for this quest or that quest. So I'm able to follow along because my audience helps me. But not everyone is an interactive streamer who has that kind of an asset, and I appreciate those who <laughs> interactive with that streamer. stuff. Um, I hate when it calls themselves So thank you stuff. to those who have been helping, it. and I will absolutely tell you guys, don't, if you're playing Elden Ring, don't feel like, oh, I can't use a guide or it. That's ridiculous. You should be getting all the content out of the game, and the game is so cryptic. Don't miss out on big critical things, okay? Uh, Dan the man is to be twenty dollars. Says, "Hey Phil, what's going on, Dan?" So that since that Kirby tip is absolutely only for the Kirby streams, uh, Dan the man is now considered the top tipper of this stream. Shit. With that twenty dollar tip, thank you, Dan the man. Very good. Uh, thank you very much. And we saw the new, you guys saw the new Elden Ring animation now, right? It's basically Elden Ring kind of ginyu okay, for you guys. Kind of the Photoshop is done. <laughs> uh, 672. It's has done. To be $6.72. He says, Happy Hustle Day. And rest in peace to the Los Angeles rapper this Nipsey Hustle, who tragically lost thing. his life three years ago. I don't ago know what this is. Today. Probably needs to fix the color on this hand. The Matathon so continues. Weird. I am completely uninformed on that situation, All but right. I do thank you for the tip, and I guess, yes, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. Okay, now I'm back. Now I can actually look at chat. Uh, Anso Kamaru has tipped me $1.50. It says, personally, I put Elden Ring on hold. Uh, and I'm maybe and this could be a hours. thing now. When I do restreams and shit, uh, we can run a poll or something and decide the theme, and I can do it live when I'm listening. Because I don't even talk over him anyways, and I don't want to talk too much, because it's, it's fucking live shit. It's so samey and way too long. I'm having way more fun with other releases from February and March currently hooked on Ghostwire. It wasn't that Elden Ring is too hard. It's just dull. And like I told you guys, I kind of feel like that's... Oh, yeah, the alien chill. Man, right if I can find the, the timestamp like, where they're showing the alien, I'm going to do it. Oh, I would even area. do it right now. Because like I as forgot Lindgrave last time. Did. It's not that much different. But and I don't know where to find kind it. Of not original and kind of boring. Oh, look, an optional castle. That looks really cool. Oh, the boss is the same fucking guy I already fought twice. Like... It, it does. It deflates you because you're expecting it something new you. or original right around the corner. You start and real like, hard. There's nothing new or original, and anymore. then you start to deflate. Just ran out of ideas and just said recycle, 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 recycle. I hope that's not the case. People are actually telling me Volcano Manor is really good, so I'm kind of like, ooh, I'm anticipating this Volcano Manor when I finally do it. I hope that they're telling the truth. So, okay, shout out to Parzival, who did a four dollar and twenty cent tip and says, "What do you call a pencil with two erasers? Pointless." Uh, we got a nice pun. Should have been a haiku. Thank you for that. That I prefer a haiku. There. Appreciate that. Parzival. Easy to eat. So that's gonna Easy to read. One dollars in tips, which means we have hit our tier one goal for today, which means, indeed, it is Gunner Glass's time, and I appreciate. Yeah. That. How much more? How much more stalling? 
Here we go. Swaggin says Elden Ring is actually much more like The Witcher 3 or Skyrim. I should add some shadows on cat. They seem pointless, but they're there if you want to do them for content's sake. There you go. As they say, quantity over quality, right? I mean, that's what it seems like to me. That's what you do. <clears throat> that's your whole whole career. All right. So now we swing back. Who are you to give advice things, on yeah. that? That's what you've been doing. You, your whole gimmick. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Hold on. There we go. The addict gamer has done a super chat. Says, "Go next in Kaled to the big pot. You get more carry weight." Okay, you've been telling me about this for like two streams. I think what yeah, now we get saying, if you guys remember direct back hand Kaled, holding, very appreciative when I of that. First popped out like of the watching well. my game the first time i went to the well from learning or excuse me from uh, east Limgrave, i did the underground cave that had the stars on the ceiling and there's an exit an elevator that you pop out of on the other side and it pops you into Kalid, but it puts you into this very unique uh canyon you're lower down in this canyon and you can't get out of the canyon there's 50, no way out. plus kind of videos uh, it's more around 80,000 so at this point on all the channels the only DSP gaming has 67,000 or something Okay You end up at a coliseum. There's a bunch of giant statue guys with the arrows, but there's a humongous pot there now when I arrived Those guys were doing crazy archery to me and I was kind of there early I wasn't really of a good level to fight them. So I basically rode around explored Take a sip. Uh, Okay, I don't know what's here. I'm out of here and I left so people have been telling me ever since then, this is like a month ago, right? Is that if I had killed those statue guys so they would stop sniping me and I had talked to the pot guy, he would have given me a quest line where I guess it's an it's a challenge run. It's like an, a three red invaders. They're not really invaders, you know, they're NPCs, the red ones. And if you can beat a gauntlet of three of them in a row, you get a reward. That's all I know. That's all anyone ever told me. But I never actually went back to do it. Um maybe i could go do that today because if i remember correctly i don't i'm trying to remember where we ended last stream and i'm pretty sure that we're not in the middle of anything right like i'm pretty sure that we could just go over there now if we wanted to there's there is a a, a, a point of grace there and maybe go over there and just just fuck around kill the giants because now i could probably kill the giants fairly easily and uh and then maybe go talk to the pot guy and see what happens right we could it's just more exploration to do. It shouldn't take too long. It's not a long path or anything. If you guys want me to do that, we can check that out today and just see what it is, right? So, all right, fair enough. Thank you to the the addict gamer. The addict the, uh, gamer. Wow. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> um, I'm being no. Uh, He's addicted Lord to Shigeru, gaming, I did you not guys. Miss a tip. I shouted out your tip. If that's what you're talking about, here's who tipped. Today. He just loves Slayer, gaming too much. Smelly chair, Jad F, Lord Shiogarath, Kirby Knot. Atlas Telemon, Dan the Man, 672. All right, shout out all uh, of them. Kamar, they all contributed. Oh, wait. A ton more. Wow. A ton more tips. Oh, a ton more tips. There's hey. A ton more tips. What a continue. positive moment. 12 Ratchet. Tip to me $10. Says, happy birthday, Phil. I hope you have an awesome day. Which class do you think I should use in Elden Ring? I've done many Hey, come back so on his actual birthday and give him money then. Oh, man. Who knows? There's so many different Don't classes give him money now. in this game. For what I'm going to understand, a lot of them are quite viable. Um... You know, one thing that I think I want to do is a magic build. Right now, I'm doing this strength, faith, hybrid build, but it's really melee mostly. I mean, yes, do I have lightning bolts? Can I use healing magic? Yeah, to, it's not to really exploration if yes. he But for the most part, if you haven't noticed, I'm using mostly melee There magic. by hand holding. I think if I do a not second really run of this game, eventually, I want to do a magic build of some sort. Like, I, I would like to be tossing around ginormously damaging magic spells because I feel like it'll be challenging because I'm going to have to avoid all the enemies while i'm casting said spells and i won't be able to be like constantly rolling through because the cast take a while right so you have to find your openings to do the castings and stuff i think that could be pretty interesting so i think i want to try this that out as a pretty, second run pretty boring but outside second of that run. Like, I, i've actually Whoa. also heard that that's awesome we're gonna watch more elden ring bleed builds in the game a million the years of elden ring bleeding is ridiculously powerful in this game and there's people who just get like a katana and they load up a build that's all bleed damage and they just hit 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 bleed, oh, bleed, bleed damage bleed, and now they beat everything <laughs> including big bosses die that way so give it a look actually I let's guess. make a, a million years of elden ring thumbnail I let me just save this one played this one build so far okay um z jingping to me a dollar oh wow a seventh secret ending has Winnie just been found it was it has a spooky five fingers unrelated I shout have out no idea what that means but thank you very much for the tip, regardless. Okay. Um, Uzi Gohard tipped me $1.50. fifty. 
He said, hey, everyone, it's P.P. Burnell. Ha, ha, ha. Everyone finally uh -huh. laughed at P.P. Burnell. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I know. When I was a kid, people actually made fun of me for that. They did. They do now, too. Have you been on Kiwi Farm? Anyway, fisting my sister. P.P. stands for positive. No, that's not positive me saying person. I don't have a sister. But that's the guy's name. He says, just so you know, positive I've been here since 2011. Burnell. You're not even halfway through Elden Ring. You still have 50 hours ahead of you. All these years, you've been really entertaining and awesome. You're the man. You're inspirational. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. You have a terrible name, but that's inspirational. Very nice thing to say, and I appreciate. I wouldn't say inspirational. Pattern. I appreciate that very much. Um, it's funny because he says, "Oh, you're only you're only halfway through. You have 50 hours left. You do realize that I have a, a 75 hours into the playthrough, right?" <laughs> and you say I'm not halfway through, so that technically means I have like 80 hours left, which means I'm probably not even beating it in April because I'm balancing it with other games now. If it is that long, I mean, holy shit. I just hope that it's, like I said, I hope it's unique content. I hope unique it's not content. content. Um, Atlas Telemann did me another $2. Like yours? He says, do you think that so GTA unique 6, and robust. Breath of the Wild 2, and Street Fighter 6 will push your channel to new record heights? I hope the Elden Ring momentum continues. Um, I mean, I'll be honest with you. The Elden Ring momentum already is slowed. It was about a month. I knew for a month this channel would kind of get a lot of attention because of Elden Ring. But I also knew that it would die out as soon as either the Elden Ring hype died out or I stopped playing it constantly and that both of those things have basically happened right now. Um, but I am pleased with the momentum that I got. Now, you're right. There seem to be certain games that when I play them, games. I do get momentum. Grand Theft Auto, absolutely. You saw really? I played the Grand Theft Auto collection. Immediately you begged during GTA as well. Who had Quite been here a bit. For a while, who were enjoying the content. It's crazy how All GTA right. brings butts to seats when it comes to my, my streams and my content. Street Fighter, I would say... No matter what, when Street Fighter 6 first comes out, yes. But it's going to depend on how good the game is and how much I like it and how good I get at it. If I play the game and I think it sucks within a week, no one's going to care about it after that. They're not going to want to see me play it anymore. Um, but if I play it and I like it and I get pretty good at it, maybe we'll actually have some people coming back consistently for fighting game content for the first time in a long time. I don't know. But it's been a very long time since I put out consistent fighting game coverage of any new game. <clears throat> And, you know, I do my retro stuff, but I feel like the retro stuff I do every week is more for a different audience. You know what I mean? Um, as for Breath of the Wild 2, be honest here, I don't think that Breath of the Wild 2 would be a big deal for me. I don't think there's ever been a situation where there was a big Nintendo game that I played that got a ton of attention. And I'm talking even back in the day. Oh, we're going to talk about Nintendo. Skyward Sword playthrough, new it's Mario terrible. games, all the stuff I used to do it. when I was more popular. There, for some well, odd reason, he hates Nintendo for some reason because he doesn't get views and they get, to used like to give him copyright claims in the past. Content creators that okay. everyone seems now it's about the shills. to go after. You know what I mean? Like there's like ten people. He's still in denial that YouTube people are, are more entertaining than him. That everyone likes to watch their playthroughs, and outside of that, it's actually pretty darn hard to get attention to play a Nintendo game. I love the Nintendo first party games. I play them. I enjoy them. I would say the one exception was uh uh what was it metroid dread that one did pretty good in regards to a core audience did it appeal to a he was setting audience? up for no. it for so long but it was a core audience of people who really wanted to see me play it and absolutely enjoyed when i did and people Outside were begging that, though, him to play I don't it get Phil, please for, uh, please i will give you money ever. for it zelda mario metroid uh you know big big first party ones you know what i mean it, it basically becomes like more chill stream niche playthroughs so no, being honest, I don't think so. I don't think uh, Zelda would be a big deal for me. But uh, GTA, absolutely. doesn't even matter what GTA it is. If I play GTA, people get excited. Um, maybe Street Fighter Six would have that, that impact, at least for a little bit, okay? All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen, we have finished shoutouts. All right. No, we have not. Alice Telemont tipped me another dollar. No, I'm sorry, I can't mute the PC. Max I think. Tournaments to interact or interact I'll back try and make it not no, happen. I never heard of Max. If you're talking about, about Max dude, I never heard about him until he was a content creator on YouTube. I very well may have played him. I think it's muted now. Run into him, okay. but I had no idea who he was. Um, I don't think that he was notable or we hung in the same circles. Like I was heavily into competitive Street Fighter, and for what I don't understand, back in the day, he was like into a Killer Instinct and stuff like that. Not to say he didn't play Street Fighter. But I think he was into other things. The other circle was known in other other circles. Well, I was heavy, heavy, heavy into just competitive Street Fighter. Um, but no, never. I never had any interaction with him or nothing. You know, 
and just a very, very cursory interaction. I think the only direct interaction, interaction I've ever had with Max, there were two. One time when the Marvel vs. Capcom collection came out, and I can't remember what it was called. It was like MVC Origins Collection or something like that. This is over 10 years ago. This was when I used to actually play games offline. What I would do is at night, as, as uh, I was finishing uploads, sometimes I would jump online and have a drink. Like a rum and coke, Ooh, and I would play a rum and some coke lore is and I was coming back. One rum and coke is back. Drinking, and I was basically playing like shit because I was drinking, and I played against Max, and we had uh, honestly, I was impressed at how well I played because I was definitely drunk when I played him, but I was playing pretty good. But he was using Strider, and Strider is my fucking bane in that game. Like I to this day still probably can't beat a god tier Strider because Strider is absolutely the best character in that game. And we had really good close matches to the point where we gave each other props for it. Oh, we gave but each I other props. I guess Max props? recorded the matches and uploaded did them. Did he say GG? And I didn't realize that. And then people after the fact were like, hey, Phil, did you know you played another YouTuber in the game last night? I was like, no, I wasn't. I had no idea who he was. I wasn't paying any attention to that. But he had given me props in his matchup of footage. He had actually complimented me um, in the matches. And I was like, damn, I kind of wish that I wasn't drinking. If I had known that I was going to play a, a good player. I, I kind of wish that I hadn't hampered myself. But again, it was just fuck around for me. I wasn't recording it or anything for YouTube. Um, that was the one gameplay interaction I ever had with him. And then the only other interaction I ever had was a couple years later, Max had sent me a DM on YouTube. And if I remember correctly, it was in regards to like getting either getting a managed partnership on YouTube or something to do with a partnership that he currently had and he needed some help with it because I had been on YouTube longer than him and knew more about getting a partnership with a company like mm. Machinima or another partner network. And he had asked for a little bit of advice and I tried to help him out as best I could at that time. <clears throat> and that was nice. literally the only DSP the ever, helping. Or, or interaction I've ever had with the guy. You should change his that, name on Twitter to that. DSP him, the help. And I always do my best to try to compliment him because in my eyes, from what I know about Max, he seems like a genuinely true guy. And what I mean by that is this is not a guy who got into content creation to make a buck. Yeah, we're getting a, a shout out to, to a content creator. That's super positive. For the games that he covers. Props to Phil. He made creative series that showed that passion. Like his Assist Me series for, for Marvel vs. Capcom 3 back in the day showed that he absolutely loved fighting games, loved the lore of the characters in the game, and he wanted to make something funny on the internet to just tie in with that. Did he actually intend that it would blow up and he become this super popular content creator because of it? No, but he did and he gets rewarded for that. And that's exactly the kind of content creation that I like. Big someone ups. who has a that, passion very for positive. what doing and because of that, become popular. Not someone who got into it to make money. Not the DSP, to DSP, to Max. Every fucking day and tears everyone down around them. Max but That's is a one of the first times where he would just name drop internet. somebody who is still I doing stuff and, and give them uh, a shout out. Fighting game stuff way more than I am. He's a really good guy to check out in my It's opinion, the birthday this, week this, vibe. Some people apparently have issue with Max because he got very popular in for fighting game videos when he wasn't necessarily a top player. So f I'll give you an example. Oh, stop giving examples. If Why Wong is this so got long? Popular on the internet. Oh, Justin or Wong. If Daigo gets hyper popular on the internet or Tokido or any a top player in a fighting game. OK, that seems justifiable in the eyes of the FGC. But just because Max wasn't necessarily the, one of the top 10 players in the games he was playing or covering, oh, how dare he deserve his popularity? Why dare he get sponsorship opportunities? And We're things saying this. From companies? Well, because he's popular, because he's entertaining, what? because he's intelligent. He doesn't have to be the best player on the planet to put out quality content. And he you gets shit on people for that, like for his that. hard work. But a lot of people in the what? FGC get jealous. They get very jealous at success and they get jealous at his success. They were very jealous at my success 10 years ago when my videos. It's the people that he calls shills. He treats them this way. Or outperforming the way that these jealous people. Videos, it's ridiculous. What? It's but but now that it's a different, it's a different instance. It's a different example. So yeah. Right, from everything I've seen. And again, I don't but know This Max is very hypocritical. I only know him from he calls people out I that see. are just more successful man people are just watching them you know why just because they're fucking popular there's nothing to them and on the internet and the content he puts out and now a guy that's popular is popular because he is nice content. and that's it's successful for a one reason of guy, one of the probably one of the few guys I'm confused that i can recommend okay you said you're there watching you three people though 
Um, who else? Come on, give us some positive shout Phil's, outs. Phillips smelly chair to me, two dollars. Is sorry, I wasn't blaming you or complaining. I'm giving you a heads up for you to consider. You hate how easily they made Radon and was using that example. You're gonna say the same about all remaining bosses at this rate. You're right, this it's is Rumsoft's fault, but it can be minimized. But it's your choice. I, I don't want to skip the content of the game, I just don't. I want to see what's in the game. I paid for it, and I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to myself and my viewers. I keep knocking this thing. I'd be doing a disservice to myself and my viewers if I didn't actually see the content of Elden Ring just to make it harder, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Are we Ladies done? Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the pre-stream. We are done. Let this is great. Let us end the pre-stream. The pre-stream? I thought Elden it was Ring, the pre- Oh, I have to close okay. Blinds, now the, uh, once okay. again, sun has come out fully. <laughs> It was oh it the pre stream, not the see, podcast? I can't even see my TV right now because I'm the not sun. sure. But anyway, thank you guys. Right Let's now. end the pre stream. Let's get started. Very nice. All right. So. And this is the Elden here. Ring thumbnail, I guess. Let's do. Yes. I don't know what to put in the middle. Let's do. This. And we're messing around with the, with the layout. We don't know what we're doing again. Oh, Phil. Well, I guess that's it for my stream, too. Wow. Let's go watch some music. Yes, count. Listen to some music. Let's we can watch it, too. You're that kind of a person. I'm going <laughs> to look up Lil Piggy again. And now, if Lil Meerkat comes out, we're going to have massive beef. Okay. No respect. Oh, and there's a dude whose song is Lil Piggy. I hope he doesn't strike me. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Lil yeah, Piggy by Willie Moore Jr. I remember yeah, this one. Y'all remember when that little piggy went to the market? Well, check this out. This little piggy here. This is the end of the stream, he everybody. And he Big ups. I'm going to see you around. That? Come on. And let's get lit. Come on. This little piggy got money, money. Y'all little piggy's got none. This little piggy eats strip steak. Why them other little piggies won't stop? This little piggy got money, money. Y'all little piggy's got none. This little piggy eats strip steak. Why them other little piggies won't stop? This song sucks. Let's let it to level one. <laughs> because you're not rich and you're not famous and you're not this and you're not that. You had an opportunity to be, but you blew it all. And I said, well, oh well. I love my life. I'm proud of that. It's been tough. I guess I'm proud to be a loser. Dark side Phil. Dark. dark. Dark side. This one's for all my baby girls. Ball over. Be the guy on level one. I've been tough. Myself masturbating. Tough. I'll be you the know, guy. Like, all right, big ups, everybody. I'm going to play all I'll the soundboard, the, and then I'm going to be out before I children. have a seizure. I'll okay? be the guy on I agree level one. A nice leaning man. You're still on a, a, a nice leaning man. I'll be the guy. Oh, oh, oh my God, he's drinking Level gin. one. Level light. Level light. one. Married happily, paycheck to paycheck happily, meaningful relationship, meaningful life with a family. I agree and with that. By the way, I have to raise money to pay two big bills next week. I got all my utilities. I'm lurking. Next week. And Tomorrow, everyone if I stop me. streaming, everyone I hates me. Be able to get a job. Everyone hates me. Everyone so hates me. So it will be the end of my life. I love my but life. outside of that, everything else is good in my life. You know what I mean? Fuck so life. I'll be the guy on level one. I stream myself masturbating. I'll be the guy. Baller on alert. I'll be the baller for thousands of children. Uh, I'll be the guy on level one. Uh, uh, I'll be the guy. I'll be the guy uh, uh, thousands uh, of children. Uh, uh, when your life is all positive instead of negative, it's a much better situation. Big up smear cat. And I can tell you that from personal experience. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It yeah. has. Hello? Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly, I felt gay. I'm entertainer, because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly. Anybody else Anybody else for children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here to 
just to play games and have fun. Yeah. I'm a legitimate gamer. You act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions, screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things, constantly on camera. when we hit the 250 vestry for that celebration, I'm going to debut a new vest. There we go. Celebratory bubble blow. Your life is nice. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my baller microphone alert. stand. Call There's bubbles everywhere. Alert. Got no controller. problems with Baller Alert. With everybody on Baller Alert and anybody else out there talking shit about me, here we go.